Hey everybody, it's Ben and or Spencer and or Karen. Go us. That's Everybody's us. excited. Probably that was the ceremonial first move. By Rob Hoare? Yeah. Because he's playing Jan. And, you know. So Rob Hoare played E4 or he didn't. Thank you, Nels. E5 was also the ceremonial first move. <laughs> this is Rapport versus Jan. That is. Jan has half wins and half draws, and Rapport has all draws. Hmm. It, it's, it's, a, it's a Russian defense. Paging Mr. Petrov. Do you think he'll play D4 or Knight C3? Uh, what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think he'll play d4 instead of taking. He'll probably take. No. Stop suggesting the most obvious move. I can't. Queen e2. That's a good move. Mm-hmm. Novelty. Man, he's thinking about it. He didn't expect the Petrov, even though it was guaranteed to be a Petrov. Well, That's anyways. Surprising. Okay, so Ding Faruja didn't Early see this. Early Bishop C5 coming didn't here. Didn't see this one. Yeah, Karpov used to like to play Early Bishop C5, like mm -hmm. in this line. D3, and now Faruja goes into the tank. <clears throat> Put the OBS in the front. And then yeah. Can watch it over here. Yeah. Nice. Castles. He didn't think too long. Yeah, <clears throat> well, uh, D3 is like an unusual looking move. Do they play E3 usually? Yeah, block it up. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we have Duda Nakamura. It's Nakamura's first non-E4, E5 game. Wow. <clears throat> For the first time in history, mm -hmm. it's going to not be E4, E5. So it's a Nimzo Indian, or as it's also known, Nimzo Indian. It says Nimzo Indian defense bishop attack. Bishop attack? What? Yeah, attack that or attack with the Just bishop. Making <laughs> stuff up now. Thank you, Jord. And then the last game is A6 Sicilian. As, wow. as Spencer what? predicted. Yeah. A6. Is this is Rajabov with black? Yeah, Rajabov is black against Fabi. Didn't see Whoa. that one. Never expected that. What do you. What does he normally play? Nobody plays Nobody this. Nobody plays O'Kelly Right. I played Maybe it. he was watching my video for the chess club on I, the O'Kelly. I played it once as a joke against Priyadarshan, and I drew. It's not that bad. Yeah, you can play C3 or C4. Also, you can play D4. The only Grandmaster who played this more than once is Irina Crush. She's played the O'Kelly. Usually when she plays it in the U.S. women's, her opponents think and play D4. And then she, she gets a reasonable position. Yeah, C3 and C4 are the most common moves here. So Rajabov yeah. trying to be tricky. Didn't expect that at all. Mm -hmm. Didn't see that one. C4 is not a stone wall. It's a Marazzi bind. It's a stone wall. That's <laughs> it's close, yes. It's a, over a little bit. It's a stone wall <laughs> if you're stoned. Then right, you're, right. Yeah. It's a stoned wall. <laughs> okay, so they got some normal boring position. C6, D6, hmm. A5. So Farouge is playing an Italian with I was just, just going <laughs> to say that. He yeah. thinks it's an Italian, so he's just playing the Italian moves. Yeah, that is good. Good opening choice by Ding, I think. So Farouge not playing well this tournament. Trying to get him out of his mm -hmm. prep early. He uh, he played the English against Napo in, in round one as well. They played a much more theoretical that, line. That didn't work out well for Ding. No, no. Got dinged. Okay, so let's see here. Knight takes e5. And instead of playing bishop e7 and knight c6, which he did against Naka, mm -hmm. he played bishop d6. Like he did against Magnus. Mm -hmm. And I used to play the Petrov a lot before Spencer was born. Then when Spencer was born, I stopped it. And and, and um, I I've had this is what I played with black. I, I played Bishop to D six. 
Yeah, I mean that that was like a sideline, but but now it's it's more mainstream, mostly because of the the, the Napo match. And he castled. Both castled. sides castled. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is still following the game, I think. Yeah, this C6, is six knight c three bishop f five queen b three or something. Right, and I used to play knight takes c three and d takes c four and bishop g four against knight c three. Maybe it was rookie one first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe it was rookie one, bishop f5, queen b3. Theory I know is 33 years old. (laughs) So, and it's not the most latest theory. But 33 years ago, I played the Petrov pretty well. That was before I was born. Yeah. Yeah, I played, like, for example, Andrei Sokolov when he was the best Sokolov in 1990 in Reykjavik. Queen b3 immediately. Mm. I don't that's, think you're I, right. I don't yeah. think I faced that. No, yeah, that's not how the other. That's not how Magnus did it either. He he didn't. He he waited for Bishop F five to play Queen B three, mm-hmm. because then he he could have taken on B seven, but he didn't. There was a game where they did take on B seven. It was like a Geary game. Mm-hmm. Now Bishop G four is possible, and so is Knight A six. Bishop G four is possible. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah the engine guess. says so. You just don't care about that. Well, if you take this and I take this, like queen here is coming. Gotta, yeah, queen gotta, h4 is gotta, pretty good. Gotta watch it. You may get checkmated or perpetual at least. Yeah, so he's going to play either knight a6 or bishop g4. <clears throat> um, I don't know. Do you think he has this move prepared? Uh, queen Napa? b3? Yeah. He should. Well, what does the opening book say? Ah, that's a good Is, question. Are there Let's go games? back to yeah, yeah. C six. Uh, Queen B three, sh- extremely just, rare. Just five games, right? Knight C three out of like a thousand. Is or the more. most common. Then Queens. I faced Queen C two also. Oh, okay. Yeah, against Queen C two, you play Bishop G four. Yeah, and C D and Rookie one are also mm-hmm. very common. Like mm-hmm. almost oh, those four moves are just all played hundreds of times. Right, C D Rookie one. Yeah. H three is even more common than Queen B three. Queen B three is really rare. Really rare move. So he probably doesn't know it. Why not? Yeah. It's secret illegal preparation from Rapport. It's a weird move. Although he moved already, right? Uh, Did he make yeah, that Bishop move? G four. Yeah. Yep. So he's pretty well prepared. <laughs> yeah. Now, if he take he didn't take this, he already did something else. Right. But if he takes this pawn on B seven, then Black's already winning. Yeah. Bishop takes F three. Then queen h4 is coming, and then white's defense of his king is not, not good. And if you don't take on f3, then queen g5 uh, hangs the queen, though. Dang Still it. good, though. By the way, gf3 is the best move. The second best move is h3. What if I, uh, just for fun, I mean, this looks bad, but yeah, yeah. Take, the, I guess, queen, oh, this is made in 7, it says. Uh-huh. That looks good. Because then queen g4, not hanging the queen, yeah, right? Yeah, then yep. check... And then queen g4 not hanging the queen, as you said. Yeah, and then at 7. Then after this, queen h3 and queen h5 are equally good. Yeah, also knight g3 looks good, huh? Man, I'd play here. Yeah. That looks pretty <laughs> scary. Anyway, this is the game. Yeah. And report... Lo- no. <laughs> so he did play... So he takes e... They're still... They're right. making a lot of moves. Right. He immediately took on e4. Uh-huh. And then takes on... This is what the engine was saying. Yeah, Wait, this just, is the this, game. But, right, then knight, knight g5. This Both is the sides engine seem line. to know what they're doing here. The engine says bishop e7 and bishop c7 are both equal, threatening queen takes d4. Although bishop e7 also threatens bishop takes knight. Hmm. Yeah. So, so let's look at this, for example, because it's really tactical. Yes. Queen takes a8. Bishop h3, mm-hmm. draw. Never play f3. f3 actually loses immediately. That's why you bishop never c5, play it. Um, yeah, bishop c5 or queen. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Wants to play here now to avoid, just to stave off mate one extra Queen e2, right? Yeah. Queen e2. Yeah, never, never play f3. <clears throat> that ought to do it. No, it, 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 what, so if you take on h3 instead of f3, it's queen g6, and then I and can then play never f3. play f3. So Although it is a draw, 
Now, we need two queen, still. this is the only drawing move. Not queen this e2. Loses, knight d2. Knight right. d2. This loses and this loses, but this draws. But it's still knight d2. Right. Then it says black is better. Are you sitting down? Uh huh. Black only has one move here. Okay. Here. Trapping the queen. That's the That's only the move. That's the point of queen d3 to go right. to d7. Right. Then it prefers black because here knight comes a6. knight a6. Uh, okay. But it only slightly prefers black, just slightly. He played bishop e7 mm -hmm. in the game, did uh, Nepo. Right. Now, in this position, if he wants to, he could also, instead of taking this, which is the right move, he could play knight d7. Yeah. Just developing. Queen takes c6, rook fc8, and white slightly better. White's up pawns, but black has good comp. Move the queen away. Oh, just take a pawn mm -hmm. back. Yeah, this looks like good comp, huh? Right. Two bishops. But okay, I mean, it's better for black to take the knight. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, what else can white do to avoid he this? He played 94. <clears throat> he, okay. He's still in prep. Is Right. By the way, this is also a draw. Takes, takes, takes. Bishop f3. Right. Draw agreed. Now there's only one move that draws for white. Otherwise, he's tough. lost. Yeah, because GF bishop c1. Right. Knight here, knight D2. Knight here yeah. draws. Because then you still control g5 after bishop yeah. d2, bishop I, d2. I'm oh, sorry. I don't mean, I don't understand how, how why it's a draw. I mean, it's going to be. Uh, oh, we're going to keep going. It's going to be right, a perpetual right, 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 eventually. Right. It's All probably right. bishop takes queen, g2. Queen d7, threatening queen g4. Then I mean, we're just figuring it out. We don't know. No, we don't know either, but yeah. the engine says so. Bishop yeah. takes. Bishop, you had some bishop takes d5 is best. Man, it's good to have prep in this line. Yeah, they played knight takes e4, queen yeah. takes d4. Right, knight a6 wins the queen. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is a super. This is sharp like line. Karen's game with somebody. <laughs> and then she, on then Karen's down. queen and bishop came in here, and the guy's king ran away. That was in North Carolina, right, Karen? I vaguely remember it. Yeah, you yeah, and then you and then Is that you the one took, where I sacked the rook. You took yeah, you took everything. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, but not too specifically. Umbrella Jack asks, "Why is Ben so cute?" Oh. Okay, so knight takes e4 was played and, and queen, queen d4. d4. I wonder if there's any games. There, there are, are no, no games. games. But obviously, still prep, and it could have been a game. It could be a computer line, but it could so, be a game that's not in the chess. Right, knight bc3 is a move, and rook e1 is a move, and they're both equal. And also queen b7, I guess. Yeah. Like we looked This at. is like forced draw. Right. Queen takes. Well, anyways, maybe we should look at another game. <clears throat> These guys are banging it out. Yeah, they stopped catch moving up with immediately. Them. Finally stopped moving, huh? Hey, he played d3 and then d4. So now it is like he has colors reversed now. Takes mm -hmm. knight a4 is just as good as knight takes d4. After knight takes d4, the engine plays a4. Oh, a sub from Umbrella Jack. Thank, Thank you. you. Knight a4 is also good because the pawn can't be defended. Then knight a6, then knight takes d4. So that's why he's thinking. Here. Tensor is our marketing, uh, our marketing specialist here. By by the way. The engine says e takes d4 is a great move. That is it's a great better move. than the best move. It's great. <clears throat> better than hanging the pawn or the bishop. Right. <laughs> he did take right away, and immediately a Ferugia plays a4. If he takes the pawn, his queen is overworked, overworked yeah. defending both knights. So we take one knight, then we take the other knight. Better to take this one first, because you win a piece. First one, then the other. That's right. Okay, let's see if any moves. Rapport did play queen, queen b7. Takes b7. <clears throat> Prepping a draw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unless he right. Uh, so the game, has the game. Th this is this is how the game should end if two engines are playing, and then draw. And then if white plays for a win, with f3, we then saw we him, attack yeah. the rook, and then Trapping. we play here. Then knight a6, and the engine actually prefers black there because white's king is a little suspicious. More than a little suspicious. And he right, Queen B. Wow, well, he played Queen E four pretty quickly. Yep. You have he's to play playing, Queen A. He's the only playing move. so fast, he must know this. How does <laughs> yeah, how does he course, know this? Yeah. How do people know stuff? 
Well, he's got a ton of prep from the can uh, from the other previous match. Yeah, and did more prep, you know, in the meantime. <laughs> yeah, because so if you play a move like year. Knight C three, for example, mm -hmm. Queen E five is winning. Queen A eight, Bishop D six. Right, because I mean, White is down a piece if you don't play Queen A eight, mm -hmm. so you're gonna have to eventually take something. But now the attack is. If you play F four, I check and play Queen C seven. I mean, White's yeah. White's up in exchange and his queen's trapped. Yep, his king's yep. no good, and I was at two bishops. This Go says already will. This says White resigns. Man. Okay, so after this, he did play he queen eight, this. and yeah. then bishop h three was played, right? Is that uh, what it says there? I think that's my line. But why is it in blue then? I don't know. <clears throat> you know, it, it would it, it would annotate your analysis like that. Yeah. <laughs> no way. Yeah, he played it. Yeah, he, he played, played bishop, bishop h3. h3. So the players seem to both know this line. Yeah. Yeah. The second best move, <clears throat> instead of taking, is queen c6 defending the main by x-ray. Yeah. So he'll probably take. So this game's going to be a quick draw. Agreed, yeah. Or do you think he'll play for the win with f3 and then queen d3, queen d7, knight a6? No. Maybe if Nepo is thinking for every move. Man, Nepo knows everything. <clears throat> you wouldn't do that when the opponent clearly knows the line. You wouldn't play mm -hmm. a dubious way hoping they don't know it. Yeah. He already showed he knows it. Right. Yeah, he played bishop <laughs> h3 quickly, yeah. So hey, no did way. you do the white balance today? I did. Okay. Okay, so let's go back to Ding didn't move after A4. <clears throat> yeah. Then we got the Naka game and the Nimzo Indian. Right, and it's an isolated queen pawn. One Everybody of my takes everything. Mm -hmm. hmm. uh, so I was thinking bishop d6 like was surprising to me. Uh -huh. I thought he'd go bishop e7. Yeah. But he wanted knight c7. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's why. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now he'll just play b6, bishop b7, and be comfortable there. However, the engine likes white. And I like isolated queen pawn, so go white. But this doesn't seem like a particularly bad version for white, because black had to move the bishop twice, and white like had to play knight e2, which is like a little weird, but it's not too bad. And a3 is a useful move mm -hmm. in a uh, an isolated queen pawn, as, mm -hmm. as I tell my students. It's a, it's a good improving move anyway. And plus knight g3 to h5 is a good maneuver. I mean, so you can make knight e2 work. I'm sorry, which move you said is a good improving move? a3. Oh, a3. Yeah, so he got that move for free. He just kicked the knight. Yeah, a lot of times right. we'll oh. play bishop c2, queen d3, and they never see that. Right, right. Never. Uh -huh. Yeah. So he did play c4, did Fabi. Mm -hmm. Then d4. And then e5. Bam. Mm. Interesting. Rajabov playing the most interesting moves of the round. If only mm -hmm. I had an emote that would help me suggest White's best move here. Right. Oh, snap. I don't know what it could be. Knife f5. Is it high YouTube? That's right. <laughs> yeah. Most people can't use that emote. Or kangaroo can. Kangaroo. Look at that flex. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah that's right. <laughs> How's it going, Smoky Boost? Good to see you again. Even though it's first time chat, still good to see you again. R reports thinking a lot, considering he should have known this. Yeah. And Fabi's thinking a lot, because he had no idea this opening would happen. So yeah, Black is weakening all of his center squares to play aggressively. <clears throat> yeah. And white plays knight f5, knight c3, and puts pressure on d5 and d6. Sometimes <clears throat> black is able to play d5, sacking a pawn to escape. Mm -hmm. For example, one of the engine lines is this d5, confusing the audience. Cd, bishop f5. Ef, knight d4. And it still prefers white, but that was interesting. This is still theory mini iguana, mm -hmm. so I'm sure yeah. white is fine. Mm -hmm. Right, so that's one line. That could happen. Probably not. 
Okay, back to Ding Ferruja. Ding hasn't moved after A4. I think he might try like Rook B1 and B4. And play B4? Yeah. Yeah. He's thinking about that. Seems like the right idea, yeah. This is one of the engine lines. Whoa. Still theory. Huh. Ship A7, Queen C2. C5 is the idea here for white. Mm -hmm. Queen A5. Stopping C5. Queen H5. Ooh, put it in H? Mm hmm. Ideas Bishop H3, Knight G4, I guess. It still says white slightly better. Only slightly. Right. Yeah, it suggests Knight B2 and then push the A pawn. Push it real good. All right, none of that's going to happen. Tisker Tasker gifting us up. Yay. Thank you, Tisker Tasker. Okay, and they did do this stuff. We took, check, check. Now he's thinking about whether to never play F3. By the way, after f3, queen here, I can also play king g2. Mm -hmm. Never developing a piece. And now it says queen d7 is bad. I have to play queen g6 check and draw. Thanks for giving five subs to Skirtasker. For, you know, six. Oh, bishop, the bishop e3 is winning. If we played, a7. if we played knight to d two, we can't, we play, can't play bishop e yep. three. Now we can play bishop e three, and white wins. The, the game's over. You, you, the queen can't be trapped. Mm -hmm. So after king g two, we play queen g six check, and the engine was looking at this. And also, white can play for a win with bishop g five, which also plays for a loss. Bishop takes, king here, queen d3. And the engine slightly prefers black. Just slightly. Huh. It seems likely we'll see a repetition. Yeah. This game's already over. And I, it was the most exciting game, I thought. You know, before the round. Well, he could play He could play for a win, but he has to play bishop g5. Now, king f2 is the other move. Then it's forced mate with bishop h4. Yeah. yeah. Also, rookie eight wins, mm -hmm. but bishop h4 is, announced his mate. Yeah, rookie eight f4. It's like, come on. <laughs> well, okay, but. <laughs> well, oh, but okay. But okay. <laughs> yeah, it says here. I was analyzing this line, but check. okay. This is a nice mate at the end. Pinned, mate. yeah. Pinned it. That's pretty good. So none of that's going to happen. <laughs> right. But it's okay. Yeah, I think it'll just be king g1, etc. Mm -hmm. So if white does want to play for a win, he must play f3, king g2, bishop g5. That's the only way to play for a win. The other ways of playing either draw or lose. And then what's funny is it likes white after queen g5 very slightly. But it likes black after bishop g5, also very slightly. And king h1 is forced. Put it it in doesn't H. seem like you would want to have white in this position. Your king's no good and your queen's no good. Up in exchange, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but after queen here and queen d7, you might lose your queen. Yeah, this doesn't make any sense Yeah, for white to do all this. Yeah, but okay is this generation's Vatels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Anyway, the variations are interesting, but the game might end in a repetition. Draw by reputation. He did play Rook B1 like you said. Oh, yeah, I knew he would. Go ding. See, I understand positional chess. You do? <laughs> oh, yeah. But, yeah, the engine liked to ruin the stru white structure and play mm -hmm. more aggressively there for the, for the tempo. Mm -hmm. But that's not really ding style. It's very positional, like, you know, who cares about a tempo here or there? Yeah, white wants to push his pawn and uh, gain space on the queen side and eventually win this pawn. Very eventually. 
Yeah, sacking the bishop uh, in that other game, you know, it, it draws just because it's it's opening up the king so much, and, and white doesn't have pieces to, to defend. But it's, it, black doesn't really have pieces to mate either. So, so draw. Duda did play bishop c2. Go Duda. As recommended by the engine. Then queen d3, queen h7 mate. Will Naka miss it? You know, considering that's really a bullet idea, and Nakamura is known for his no. bullet prowess. <laughs> find it hard to see. Oh, UT, UT Lanning? Yay. Thank you for the sub. It's Lanning from University of Texas. You know, maybe. Deep in the heart of Texas. Yay, a hype train is close. Not too close. <laughs> now you touch a piece, you got to move it. And Fabiano hasn't moved after E5. He better touch his knight. It's a Swedish word, tanning, or Lanning, I mean. Hmm. Sounds pretty fishy. It means means foreigner. foreigner. Oh. Oh. Tennessee is the real UT. Oh, it is? I don't know. <laughs> I guess they have more volunteers. Oh, snap. I think after the tournament's over and, and Ali Reza does come in last, you should say, I'm only playing Ali Reza because I want to win. I think touch move is a rule in tournaments, yes. Is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. But only the really best players use it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point of the touch move rule? Seems a bit petty. No, I know why. It's so like, imagine like I touch a piece, but I can read your reaction to when I touch it. Then I'll get some information whether it's the right move or not. Or the right piece to move, at least. Yeah, what if somebody yeah. touches them and they keep changing their mind? Right, and they're, they're looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In backgammon, there's no touch move. You can make a whole move, and before you pick your dice up, you can just put it back and make another move. Yeah, that's true. No touch move in backgammon. Fabi's thinking forever. Well, that was actually the last match where Magnus touched or adjusted the piece, right? But, you know, he said adjust. Mm hmm. Yeah. We had good questions from the chat today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yeah, can't but... recall. Was, uh, was Nipo wasn't at the board, right? Right, right. That's what it Long was. Peasant. And so it was unclear. But I would always say adjust whether they're there or not. If, if they make an illegal move, uh, the, they'll be penalized like some time, or the, the opponent will get some time added to their clock. It seems unlikely, because they're the best players in the world, <laughs> that that'll happen. Or it could, though. You know, It, could, it really could happen. Man, Fabi's, no increment. We're on move five, and Fabi's already taken half an hour. Mm. Rajabov with the greatest preparation ever. <laughs> <laughs> He still hasn't decided whether to play F3 or not. Well, poker has some rules like that. Like, you can't, uh, you know, string bet. Naka played bishop d7, quadrupling on the d file. What's string bet? Like, it, you put in some money, and then you reach to put in more money. As opposed oh, to just right, putting yeah. your bet all at once. I didn't know that was called string bet. Yeah, yeah. you have to do it all at once. So that is like a somewhat similar rule. Yeah, it's just to pr make sure everything's clear. Right, right. About what did or didn't happen. You can't have too much chaos. Just make your move and hit the clock. That's it. Hey, he threatened yeah. mate. We'll knock us see it. <laughs> so the engine says knight g6 and f5 are equally good, but I believe he'll play knight g6. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. F5 looks really weakening of the E6 square. Then white could play bishop B3 <coughs> and open up the E file with some knight move. Yeah, but it's not so uncommon to see F5 in this structure. I mean, it seems crazy sometimes. Now the engine prefers F5 to knight G6. He might play it, yeah. I remember I had a game against Eno Ostrovsky. Yeah. I, I had a game with him. It was like this, and I played F5. And then I thought I was worse, but that was fine. And then after the game, he's like, yeah, I thought I was better, but I guess you were fine. Yeah. He did it. Yeah, he played F5. Isn't he 2,500? Yeah, yeah. He still beat me. <laughs> hey, he, he played F5. 
Yeah, there's yeah. an Aka for you. Yeah, like I said this before. He's a pretty good positional player, and he'll make a double-edged decision like this correctly. He played it pretty quickly. I don't know if Karen would play f five. <laughs> no, I was definitely not g six all the way. Karen, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, she's a good positional player, but <laughs> not as good as Naka. Not yeah. No, I was. I liked knight g six better. Yeah, that was solid knight g six. Fabi moved because I saw him move. He played knight f five, d five immediately. God damn. Look at that Rajabov prop. And in the Sicilian, if you play d5, you're equal. So, mm -hmm. equal. <laughs> After queen d5, it says black is better. After bishop f5. And then knight d4. Yeah, yeah. I could, could, see, I could kind of see that, yeah. Anyway, here's, you wouldn't trade here, queen here's the that. engine line, right, which will almost so. certainly happen. Well, maybe Rajabov's, like, finally growing a pair, huh? Doesn't sound like him. All right. Yeah, if Fabi puts his hand out to resign, is Reginald going to shake it right draw in the score sheet? Right. So this <laughs> is what we predict will happen. D5 right away. Fabi goes into a think. The engine says this is forced from both sides, otherwise they're losing. By the way, the second best move here, instead uh -huh. of taking, is knight c3. Hmm. Didn't see that one. Both are attacked, yeah. Yeah, this would be terrible. Queen d1. Do Bush I castle four. or do I take? <laughs> They're both good. Slightly better to take first. Yeah. So th this is a, a pawn ahead, and it still says black is better. Um, no. Oh, it's five again. I thought yeah. white had six pawns. If I could count to five or six, I'd be better. It is tough. Black is slightly better. Just slightly. Yeah, white's king isn't great. So, yeah, this is... Uh, I'm not saying black has a good position because the engine prefers white, but this is obviously his prep, and Fabi's thinking forever on every move. So he'll have a nice time advantage. And they haven't moved since this position. Report's going to think for half an hour and then repeat. Report's the kind of guy to not repeat. Yeah. That's Although true. He does have all draws. He's the only player with all draws. Who would have thought that? After Rook B1, Farouz is thinking a long time. And after F5, Judah is going to think a long time. Right. Go, Duda. Did Fabi move? Because Rajabov sat down and wrote something down. Yeah, he did move. He takes C takes D5, Bishop F5 was played. He took back? Right. Then he'll play Knight D4. Always play E takes F. Mm hmm. So White's going to have the two bishops and a pass pawn on D5, and Black's going to have harmonious development. Knight d4, knight f6, bishop goes out, castles, etc. Right, it's like that line in the English where it, where black sacks the pawn and you know you, you know you played that one before, symmetrical English. Yes. So we're still in Rajabov's prep, although the engine prefers white. Yeah, Fabi probably likes his position because he has two bishops and he'll have a pass d pawn after knight c3. Right, but uh, yeah, he's probably a little concerned about the rapidity of play by his opponent. He's just banging out these moves. He knows he's still in his prep and it's pretty complicated. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the truth hurts. Yeah. Still not moving here. No. Still or not here. moving here. Yeah, now we'll get to the never here. moving portion of the tournament. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's quite close. Yeah. It's pretty quick this this round, yeah. Yeah. 
<clears throat> just half an hour, and you know they're all out of prep. Man, Jan has good prep. Yeah. Oh yeah, Jan's still in prep. I don't even know which Jan it is. Right. It's not right. this Jan. No, it's the, the other, other one. Jan. Yeah, yeah. 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 I never call Duda Jan. I call him Duda. I call Nipomnishi Jan because I don't want to say Nipomnishi. Zero space chess. Yay! Thanks for the sub. Yeah, the engine wants to play bishop b3 and change the diagonal of attack on this. Attacking this diagonal. Makes sense. Still thinking. I have to always look at the score in case they repeated <laughs> and that it's the same position. But they haven't. He hasn't played right, king right. g1. I was wondering that too, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. If he does play f3, he should play king g1 first, then play f3. Right, right. Never play f3. Ali Reza. So what is the engine line here, knight d7? Yes. Seems like a normal move. Then b4, a, b positive, mm -hmm. a, b, yeah. knight e5. And white is slightly better. Just slightly. Yeah, I mean, the engine always will, like, widen mm -hmm. this kind of position. A little bit more space. The moves it's playing aren't very ambitious. Yeah. Like, h3. Well, that's and then, to play and, f4. And then king h1. Also to play yeah. f4. Yeah. I mean, it's super ambitious. Yeah, it's pretty ambitious. And then it does play f4. And it says, like, white slightly better. Wait, h3. Defending the g4 oh, square. Oh, I see, yeah. And then... King h1, getting off of this diagonal. And then finally, f4. That says this is about equal. Oh, what about the g pawn? <laughs> yeah, that's okay, true about played, Ferruja. He, he played queen a5, stopping b4 and b3. Now he's playing an accelerated dragon. Mm -hmm. with a5, yeah, a5, a5, a4, queen, queen a5. a5, yeah. Except white's the one playing the dragon. All right, weird how that works. Yeah, he wants to still play knight here, but he doesn't want to allow the b pawn to move. All right, now b4, he'll just take it normal. Mm-hmm. Not His on normal Poussin. position. Also taking on Poussin's good. Yeah. But taking this. Oh better. yeah, taking on Poussin, the knight's hanging. Yeah, you, you could play play, play rook takes. <clears throat> rook takes, yeah. Because yeah. queen takes hangs the d4 knight. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Two right. knights, one for each of you. Well, B4 is terrible, so he won't do it. Right. <laughs> what will he play? He could try E3 here now, because then Bishop D2 is on the agenda. He could play Knight C2, E3, <coughs> H3. Yeah, I like Knight C2 for the same reason. I would try to play Bishop D2 and get control of the Queen side. One of the engine lines is Queen D2, Queen F4, and then Knife F5. That seems unlikely. Queen here, here seems very strange. Queen could get harassed there. Well, b4 is terrible because it hangs the b pawn. Yeah, bishop takes b4. And also the knight but, on c3 but, is loose. But it's a fork. The, the point of queen a5 stopping b4, so people <coughs> want to play b4. I do like that, though. You know, contentious play. Like Scots and other Scots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you Scots sure are contentious. <laughs> He played bishop to d3, Solid ignoring move. his d-pawn. Yeah, who needs it? Just castle. Knight c3 if you take it and such. Yeah, so the engine says takes. Then it says knight c3 here. Hanging the pawn? Mm-hmm. Because bishop e4, I guess? Probably. It doesn't take this. Bishop e4 winning. Plus six. I could play b5. What? Oh, oh the rook's hanging and such. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's say no problem. Probably check, check first, yeah. right? Yeah, check first is slightly Always better. Check. Oh, now it wants to check here. Never play f6? What's going on here? This line doesn't make it. Here is almost mate. Wow, it doesn't play king f7. It's queen c4. Oh, queen c4, queen a6, queen d7, yeah. mate. So the engine in king d8 is also bad. Anyways, this is terrible for black, obviously, mm -hmm. frankly. Castles. 
He could just take the rook. Yeah, but I like the not taking the rook ever. <laughs> just <attack. laughs> Yeah, that is funny. Rook d8, I don't know. This is the best move. Wow. Rook takes. I can't believe that didn't hang mate in one that much. Yeah. <laughs> Check. Always play king b1. Yeah, none of this is going to happen. Like, even if black blunders, white's still not going to play this way. This is plus 10 for white. He did play queen takes d5, though. Right, yeah. It says so there. Yeah, but he's not going to play queen g2. Also, Fabio might castle. Yeah, I would expect him to castle. After castles, uh, I'm not kidding. Mm -hmm. The engine says castles. Wow. Dang. Risky stuff. Got to risk it. Yeah, after knight c3, it wants to play queen d7. Oh, yeah. So Fabi didn't want his d-pawn. He wants the open lines for the two bishops. Two bishops? Slap shot. Go Fabi. I just, I just saw a report sub. move. Never play f3, etc. So he played king h1. DMCA. Thank you for subscribing. Now this it's is his chance to play f3. Oh, they repeated once? Yep. So now he, he could play it. Mm -hmm. Good play it. Yeah. After King G1 in it's the game ends, they're going to interview him. King G1, he can claim the draw. Yeah, they'll interview him, and Yano will say, you could have played F3, but it's okay. <laughs> never then, play F3. Yeah. But never play F3. <laughs> yeah, never develop your queen side, right? Man, Yano's got that world championship prep. Yeah, he's been pretty impressive in this U tournament. Usually plus three wins the tournament. He's plus three after six games. Yeah, I thought plus three would win the tournament. Still might. Right. He did play bishop b3 to Duda. That makes sense because mm -hmm. f5 weakens that diagonal, mm -hmm. but it blocks the other diagonal. Now you predict f7, bishop, bishop c2, c2, draw. Yeah. Pretty much. But I really Yeah, the engine bishop wants to just take maybe. this 50 times and then play bishop f4 and be better. Oh, what if I play, uh... Yeah. Right, if I play bishop c6, then my e-pawn's a little weak, huh? See, this is why Karen wasn't playing f5, because after you take this twice and go here, white's just better. Yeah, totally, totally. Because why? what's f5 doing? You know? Yeah, this is, this is the engine line. Take, take, mm -hmm. knight takes, 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 bishop f4, rook a, e8, takes, takes. Uh, G3. I mean, this is awful. The bishop's terrible. The knight's good knight. And there's no benefit for black. It's just bad bishop. Good knight against bad bishop. For yeah, free. the engine's saying H6 and then G5. Yeah, I mean, why does, you gotta put him on dark squares, right? Mm -hmm. Gotta put him on dark squares. Something like this might happen, too. Mm -hmm. So he should have gone knight G6. Maybe. The engine liked F5 more. He's just yeah. worse. It was mm -hmm. all. Yeah. No, Karen's right. Asian always play always right. Bam! Mm -hmm. Sometimes Karen's right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Go, Karen. Mm. Yeah, but he, he's, I mean, it's still in the draw zone, but it looks good for Duda. Yeah, after bishop c6, the engine's playing bishop g5 to, you know, do stuff. Queen d7, I guess. Right, then take on e7. And then if knight takes, you're going to do some crazy move, huh? Like knight f4. I'm going to play something crazy. Yeah. Knight yeah, this wins, it yeah, says. Yeah, yeah. Because so. uh, d6 mm -hmm. is hanging. Then even f7 loses. Knight takes e6. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It wants to take with the queen, and then we get that good position for white again. This is even better than, other, than the other line, because mm -hmm. we're getting some tempo. It's terrible, yeah. With the queen there. So did Naka move after bishop b3? No. Probably doesn't like it, huh? No. What do you think, Judah's first win? You mean my hoping? No, just, oh. is it going Yeah, I figured it'll still be a draw. But, yeah, I think so too. But yeah. But he's got chances. Obviously, yeah. no Duda. Obviously, yes. This is the last round of the first half of the tournament. These are the only players... That haven't played each other before. Then they play each other again. Again, right? Starting tomorrow. 
he's thinking about whether to play knight c3 or castle. It is Fabi. He did, he did play knight c2. He wants to play bishop to d2, which is bad with the knight on d4 because the knight's not defended. Now bishop d2 is... I'm going to watch it. Then white can play b4 and so forth. And make queen a5 yeah, look silly. That's what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. The engine thinks black can play either rook e8, improving his rook, or bishop f5, and black is about equal. Yeah. And he's going to have to allow white to get in these moves and mm -hmm. get out. Move but away, yeah. Just have to move his queen back. But at least like his a8 rook will have benefited from that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll have a nice open file for his rook. Is the order they play each other remain the same? Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. That's a good so question, yeah. here's why. <clears throat> so half the players got white in round one. Then if they alternate every round, I said if, they would get black in round six. So white, black, white, black, white, black. Then occasionally in those scenarios... They get black in round seven. So they would start with white, but they would end up with four blacks and three whites. If that happened and they played the same order, they would then get black in round eight because they got white in round one against that guy, giving them three blacks in a row, and they avoid doing that. So if the cross table, if the pairing tables say that you get black in round six and seven in the first half of the tournament... And then you get black in round eight because you were right in round one. Then they then they do switch the rounds, so they might not play in the same order. I don't know. Nobody knows except the players, the arbiters, and people who are paying attention. But that's why sometimes they don't play in the same order. But they play basically in the same order. But they might switch round seven and eight or something, or eight and nine. Sometimes they do that. I know when Linares many years ago was a double round robin, they, they didn't play in the same order because of that. I don't know if it's going to happen here. Uh, a few days sucks. <laughs> Agreed to agree there. <laughs> Players from the same country have to play the first game of each round. Yeah, because otherwise Fabi and Naka are going to, you know, set everybody up. The first game of each round? Yeah, the, the, the Americans had to play in round one. Oh, well, yeah, but yeah. he said the first game in each, of each round. He means then they played. The first round the of each tournament, right? Yeah, right, of each round robin. Oh, of each round robin. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see here. That is true. He's still thinking about whether to never play f3. And Naka has it moved after bishop b3. And Fabi has it moved after queen takes d5. So if you had to win, whose position do you want of the eight players? Uh, Maybe Duda. Yeah, Duda for sure. Yeah, because you could win this. But let me see the other two. Seems like a loaded question. The other two. Well, let me see the other game. Oh, yeah. Just, you were asking a question. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The final. Okay, mm -hmm. click through. Okay. Bishop F5 was played uh, by Faruja. Yeah, cool. If you want to win here, you got to play F3 and Bishop G5. Yeah, they definitely prepare on the rest days. No doubt about that. Mm. Yeah. It seems like Duda has some chances. I agree. Good old Duda. Hey, there's this guy 
from Georgia poker guy. Mm -hmm. He seems to be pretty well known. Mm -hmm. I had not heard of him before. Until yeah. Recently, had you? Did you know who he was? Who are you talking about? Josh Joshua Area. Yeah, I didn't know he's from Georgia, but I've heard of him for twenty years. Oh yeah, I didn't. Yeah. Well, I've only recently started following poker. I just didn't remember seeing. I didn't. I didn't know he was from Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. Georgia. He's Atlanta. Yeah, he's been famous forever. Georgia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was on TV a lot when they would televise the World Series, mm -hmm. like, you know, 15, 20 years ago. Okay. He was yeah. POY last year, yeah? Yeah, he wasn't. He, right. he wants to play in the 250K high roller event, but he can't afford the entry fee. Is that player of the year? Yeah, yeah. player of the year. Mm -hmm. I saw that, yeah. Yeah, Josh Harley. <clears throat> How's it going? He's here. He was tweeting recently about some poker room here that got raided. Mm -hmm. That would happen. <laughs> Thanks, Bonarici. They just let the players go home, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they usually only care about the people who are running it. Yeah. And they, they literally don't care about others. In the Right. In the 1970s, they raided a poker game in Michigan in Detroit, you know, a private game. Uh -huh. And then the players and the cops were shooting at each other mm -hmm. because most of the players were cops. <laughs> so they they thought like they were getting robbed or something. That's funny. And after that happened, nobody was killed. And after that happened, they didn't raid poker games anymore in Detroit. They they, they stopped. <laughs> That's too funny. Yeah. It's too bad I, none of them I was died. playing in a casino in Detroit before you guys were born, and a fight broke out at, at another table. And they were, like, punching each other. And a guy got in the middle and was breaking up the fight. And he was yeah. a small guy. And he was playing his hand. <laughs> he, he was like, I call. And he'd break up the fight. And then with his third hand, I was there. He took out his, he's a police officer. Uh. He was a Detroit police officer. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I'm a police officer. Stop fighting. And I call. And then... <laughs> <laughs> Normally, when there's a fight in a casino, security shows up pretty quick. They yeah. did not show up quick. They showed up, right, and it was—I right. mean, well, it's Detroit. It, so. it was showed up a long, a long time after the fight started. The guy was a small guy too. The cop, right? Is, is that a tell? Like he must yeah. have had a great. Hand yeah, cause... he's like, "Stop fighting!" And I call, and I'm a cop. Like, what? what? You, know. you know who used to play there a lot was um, in in the '70s and '80s. He was the he played for the Red Wings and he was the tough guy. He was the guy that got into fights. The enforcer. If you if you guys say his name, I'll know. He used to play at Motor City Casino a lot, um, or was it MGM? Anyway, he played Probert. poker there a lot. Probert. Maybe Bob Probert. That sounds familiar. You said that that you would yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he played poker there a lot. Got to play something. Okay, so Naka's still thinking. He did play Knight C three. You guarantee he'll play Queen takes G2 losing? No. <laughs> I don't know. Is he, he's got to still be in prep here, right? Re no, because he's thinking now. I guess, yeah. Well, probably he was surprised at Bishop D3. But he still quickly took it, mm -hmm. the pawn, I mean. Right? I mean, the thing, yeah, he didn't use much time there mm -hmm. in, the, in those little bars. Oh, shh. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. All right, and Bishop F5 was played by Ferruja. That's a good move. This game is too well played. I don't like it. So it, it will probably be Bishop D2 now, yeah? Right. And then you could also play E4. Oh, I didn't even see that you could do mm -hmm. that. You can do it. Yeah. Thanks, alien, alien citizen. citizen. Yeah, he's an alien and a citizen. Good, good. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Yeah, I should do too. And then... Ah, Naka played queen b6. That was the engine move. Threatening queen takes b3. If Magnus refuses to play, then whoever finishes in second place will play whoever finishes in first place of this that's, tournament. That's correct. Or I'm going to use the restroom. All right. I'm afraid I'm going to hurt somebody. It feels kind of like when they had the split off, you know? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it is kind of like that. Mm -hmm. It feels like the Kasparov split. Yeah, it would feel a little bit like that to me. Like, so. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, it's not their fault. 
Mm. Right. Yes. Unlike in the Kasparov time when it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no avoiding this one. There was avoiding mm-hmm. that one. Yeah, plus it's not like Magnus is like, I'm still the world champion. And right. And he's yeah. like, I'm doing something else. Goodbye. Uh-huh. Yeah. Rapport has no choice but to take draw. No, he could he could block and it's crazy. I guess he's thinking about it, but maybe he's just pretending. You know? He could block and, and it's not dead loss there. It's like this, hitting the rook. And if knight d2, this traps the queen. That's actually kind of good for black. But yeah, you could play f3 and continue the game. You could also go here, king g2 after f3. But I think he'll take the draw. Oh, just because of time. No, he's. I mean, he's got 72 minutes. <laughs> it's enough time. So what, you think he'll go king g1? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think so. I thought so the whole time. Because you, you, would, you wouldn't, I mean, the guy used eight minutes, so, and he sacked everything. Like, he knows the line. Yeah. So you wouldn't go for a complicated way when clearly your opponent knows what they're doing and has this prepared. I mean, it's it's only risky. But if White has a lot of prep and it's okay for White, then he can do it. It just depends what he prepared, you know. So he, he didn't go into this, like, thinking he wanted to draw, but <laughs> it was only, I guess. Well, he was hoping that Nepo he didn't know, know it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't know this line, this like really nice line, mm-hmm. or he, did, you know, he wasn't ready for Queen B three, which is an unusual move. But Nepo quickly played all these moves, so he had already had computer prep here, mm-hmm. guaranteed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so there was a move in this game, Knight C three, and then it was Queen D seven. That was the engine move too, which he relatively quickly played everything. Really, he hasn't thought for more than five minutes, mm-hmm. which it, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell if he's still in his prep. Then he could be. Hmm. Rapport does have to. I mean, he has to win eventually, right? Yeah, I would like to see Magnus play and then just eventually lose, you know. Bishop d2. Just as predicted. Now when we play b4, like if we played b4 here and on Passat, the knight's hanging, so you'd have to play rook takes. So if you defend the knight, like he did, that's what he played, next turn I'll go here and then I can take with the pawn instead of the rook. Mm-hmm. You know, like, like if knight, for example, knight d7 b4 on passant a b this worked out for white he got an a, a b4 and then he's going to play b4 again and white will just have to move his queen away now or black will or you can move the bishop back yeah to get out of the fork but it says white's a little bit better and and this is a strategic success for white you go here and then later here and look at that knight b4 Mm-hmm. Knight takes c6. Knight check takes bishop. Well, anyways. <laughs> I was looking at that check, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if the knight went That's the way to do it. I was kind of looking at what might happen if if you had a discovered attack on the queen here. Like what you could do with the knight. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is typical uh, English play on the queen side here. So this is kind of normal stuff to do. And Ding likes when it's normal. You know, he likes to do normal things. Me too, mm-hmm. honestly. Magnus is now the villain. <laughs> yeah. I don't think of him as a villain. <laughs> I think he's just tired of chess. Hey, all this stuff happened like how my dad said it would. Take this, and then that, and then here. He's going for the good knight against bad bishop endgame, or still sort of a middle game, but... Those are the minor pieces he's keeping on the board. Assuming you trade, which the engine just allows the trade. Yeah, it moves the rook over. He looked at this line, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was thinking about when when he did this that he could take and play this, but then the d-pawn's hanging. Right, yeah. And then 
White's got a lot of initiative there, even. Because knight e7 check, or rook e7 is a good move, because there's no bishop anymore. Although this is, you know, the queen is attacking this. You might have to go here first. But yeah, you have all those ideas then. And your knight's there. Mm -hmm. So you'll be, like, really active. He did play rook a8. That's the, the best move. Then I think it wanted to trade it. Yeah, it did. Just trade it, and, and even knight back. Or something. I mean, he could probably do anything. I think we looked at g3. Yeah, I mean, if he could get the if he could trade and get knight e five and then like f four, that's just strategically winning, you know. But he, it's tough to get the knight there. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. how's it getting over there? All right, it's just but... there was no way. <laughs> no, but it's okay. Ugh. They did all this. This is on the board. I had to cut off my glorious hair. It was too hot. Yeah. And uh, I, agree I got it. to the point where I had to shower twice a day or my hair would get all greasy. So. Yeah, you can't become a GM showering twice a day. <laughs> right, right. No way. <laughs> that that just no way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty hot here right now. Yeah. If this seems unpleasant for black. How realistic are Dunda's winning chances? <laughs> pretty, what? Pretty, pretty realistic, I would say. Yeah. Da, 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 He's got serious da, da, winning chances. Dunda, yeah. Dunda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, a random viewing bot. Yeah, I like queen d2. I like that better than bishop takes in g3. Yeah, I mean, I'd play bishop takes, I guess, but not g3. Yeah, I don't want black to play f4. But queen d2, I'll play rook. Well, rook e3. Okay, yeah, I'll play rook e3. e4? e4, yeah, yeah, rook e4. Obviously, frankly. Then I could take the bishop on d6 and yeah. play knight c3. Right, so you gained a tempo there. Because I probably won't play I mean, it's just an rook unpleasant h4. Po just unpleasant position, I think, for, for black. Then if rook h4, yeah. rook e5. All right, I don't like rook h4, yeah. Uh, T-grass. Someday we're going to have a train, but maybe not today. Maybe not today. Yeah, because they're spaced tomorrow. out like every five minutes, the but subs. someday. Later that day. Yeah. Oh, there it is, 100 bits. Getting Yay. us pretty close. Life in a northern town. One more thing. But you've got four and a half minutes to so, do it. So he played queen d7, as predicted, castles. And the engine seriously wants to castle queenside. It's hard to castle kingside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this seems very pleasant for white. Oh, and here, there it is, Grandmaster Gus. Starting the train. Yay, thank you, Grandmaster Gus. I need Gus. to complain more. <laughs> yeah. Who's the hottest in the candidates? That's a Karen question. I thought it was Rob Poor. Um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, none of them are exactly lookers, but... They're not ugly. Well, they're not monsters, either. <laughs> you know. Yeah, probably Rob Poor. A lot of, you know, a lot of sixes and sevens in that, this crew. What's that? It's Rip not she said Rob Poor, yeah. Oh. But, you know, it's, it's this guy says it's clear. Duda Shirley. Duda's all right, yeah, you know. Some this guy said Hikaru. Wow. Well, but his name is Lonzo Balls, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah. There's yeah. a basketball player named Lonzo Ball. Uh -oh. Yeah. And you know who his brother is? LaMelo Ball. And then they have another brother, but I forgot what his name was. Looks like, like a, a giant baby. He's a good he's a good baby. I mean, you know, none of them are Ding Liren, you know, Liangelo, that's outs. right. Liangelo, I forgot about that. I don't know, mm -hmm. I, I don't know what Duda's face looks like. Duda, this guy said D's nuts. <laughs> Maybe Could, Duda. The, on, on Twitter about three weeks ago, this guy said, my seven-year-old just kept making D's nuts jokes, and that's all he would do. Yeah. So everything was D's nuts. And I was like, where did you learn that from? And he's like, well, I don't want to get the other person in trouble. Right, like, I don't want right. to say who it is. And he says, if I tell you, you have to promise, like, you won't say anything to them or you won't 
And he says, yeah, okay. And he says, okay. D's, D's nuts. nuts. <laughs> I, already knew it. Yeah. I knew it would be D's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Rapport is fine as hell. Damn. I mean, I think he's the best. I do think he's the best. He and I have a similar hairstyle. Or aesthetic. There's Rapport right now. Yeah, yeah. Hair aesthetic. Mm-hmm. Kind of a disheveled non style. White has two bishops and black has no development. Two bishops? So a tough still position. Equal. Still still about equal, right? I hope he castles Queenside. Because that's interesting to me. Okay, Dinglerin did play bishop to d2. And then Faruja played knight b d7. And now we're expecting either b3 and or b4, which will transpose because he's going to take either way. But b4. Could play b3 threatening b4. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if it's a threat. b4 bishop takes. Hmm. In fact, after b4, hmm. I could play bishop takes an hour. I was right? thinking about that. Then I take, you take, b is hanging. And, then this is and also knight d5 or whatever, knight d4. Also, I could play a knight move now, right? But I guess there's nothing that good. Here? Yeah. How can white move a knight? Yeah, I guess not. This knight's pinned, and this knight's nowhere to go. Well, what it discovered attacks was my point. That's what I was wondering about. Mm. Oh, oh, you mean attacking this? Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah, notice yeah. that. Seven. Yeah. But yeah, there's nothing good. You know. I would have to just take this. That's the yeah. only reason I would move my knight. Yeah. Unless he wants to trade this knight for this knight and play bishop c3, but I doubt it. Yeah, because knight d5, uh, queen d8 is okay. Mm -hmm. Defending e7. Right, yeah, the, so the engine, it says b3, a b3, a b3. The next line was b4 with the same position, and it said b3, it said b3 was better. <laughs> it said b4, yeah, a b3 yeah. was equal, but b3, a b3 is better for white. Very suspicious. Yeah, my, I had a student who asked me, like, why does this happen where I look at the two lines and then I see that they, they transpose, but the engine says one's better? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's just working. The engine shows It's you. in the middle of working. Okay, yeah. just give it a second. <laughs> you know, it's trying its best over there. Rapport will never move. Right. There's no reason to move. Yeah, mo moving is like, mm -hmm. when have you ever won a game by moving? Oh, Corch Noise Glasses gifting us up and Z1 Corvette Yay. gifting wow. us up. You guys are the guys. best. Hey, Z1 Corvette. Almost at the exact same time there. Nobody ever moves in any of the games. Time to donate. All right, level one complete. Nice. Yeah, the engine does like under-promoting when it's the same, when you have to take right, it. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. It's like they're all the same and there's four of them, so let's do this one. You got it, Corvette. Regibo is thinking, this is my prep? Oh. Right. Tisker Tasker. Coming does, through again. Does Knight F5 lose immediately or it loses slowly? Wins a pawn, but it looks terrible. What is a rookie, rookie one, maybe? I don't know. Let's see if it loses immediately or no, slowly. Right. It says Bishop, Bishop takes, queen takes. Knight D5, Queen takes. Knight D5, Knight D5. Queen a4 checks also Queen strong. a4. Queen d5 is number uh, Every one. move is so good here. Yeah, because if queen d7, this is hanging. Yeah, on. this is the worst. The worst, Jerry. Yeah, this isn't good. Thank you for that. Is that another gifted sub, Tisker Tasker? Thank you. Yay. Go hype train. Tisker on a roll. Knife f5, that's right. So yeah, he won't do that, but will he castle queenside? He might just develop. He yeah, played knight f six. Just That's saying, good he might just develop the king side. Yeah. And then it wants bishop g five. That makes a lot of sense because mm -hmm. the white squares are really weak. Yeah, bishop g five or rook e one, or play one then the other. And we could take the knight and get in on the light squares with the our our knight. And bishop, yeah, minor pieces there. I'll see a rookie one and f4 is a good idea. Break it down. Yeah, it's a good position for Fabi. 
For some reason, super GMs don't play the Yokelly a lot. Right. Well, a level five is the max level. Let's Thank see, you, Yaba. Let's see in the chat who gets it. I know that you know, and Karen doesn't know, so you're allowed to answer. <laughs> What's up, Lad? Okay. He's not allowed to answer. Right. Okay, he I won't answer. What country was O'Kelly from? And what's O'Kelly's first name? I mean, I can just guess stuff. You can't guess his first name because oh. it's, it's not a name. Or, oh, no, it's from Ireland. No, he's the only person in the world with that name, the first name. All right. So nobody can guess it. <laughs> Patrick Ireland does. Man, <laughs> Ireland's pretty common answer. Well, he well it's O'Kelly. Like yeah. Right. I don't know where yeah. O'Kelly is. What's was an from? O'Kelly? This is the O'Kelly yeah. uh, Sicilian. Right. Well, I thought people would know. Yeah, I, don't I guess know. they have to look up on the internet. Yeah, even I don't know where he's yeah, They have to look from. up on the internet, and then they'll know. Yeah, right now they're giving their own answers. In like or 20 right, seconds, yeah. they're going to be like, everybody's going to have the right answer because they're looking on the internet for Well, I mean, we have to know some way. Mm -hmm. Also, oh, nobody actually knew. That was good. We can give up and then look on the internet. Bad Zemus. <laughs> Thank you for this uh, bad Zemus. I'll, I'll give you guys Zemus. a hint. Spencer was born there. Oh, now I know. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, he's Belgian. I yeah. didn't know that, yeah. And his first name, are you sitting down? Mm -hmm. Is Alberic. Alberic. Alberic yeah, O'Kelly. Yeah, right. yeah they, some people looked Alberic, it up. Yeah. They even put the thing over the E. That's, that's how you know they copy paste it. Man. <laughs> they're not, they're yeah. not trying to pretend they know. Mm -hmm. Old Albert. He was one of the best players in Belgium, if not the best. That's not a name. Alberic O'Kelly. That the reason I asked you guys about O'Kelly is that's what this opening is named after. This is the O'Kelly Sicilian, named after Alberic O'Kelly. De Galloway, or De, De Galloway. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Right. Alberic. Uh, Wait, is it De Galway first? Albert? No, I think it's at the end. Oh, Kelly, Kelly De Galway. Yeah, yeah. They had, he had a lot of names. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Obama. 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 Yeah. Albert Man, that guy, gave him a, that guy gave him a lot of names. You know who has a lot yeah. of names is Pele. Philidor. Pe oh, Pe Philidor, too. too. Pele has a lot of names. Yeah. I can't remember all of Pele's names, so it's a good thing he's Pele. I thought it was just Donald John Trump. No, he's uh, somebody put all of Pele's names. Pele was just his nickname, you know. <laughs> right? Yeah, Pele's right. a nickname because his real name is like five names. I meant for Trump. Oh yeah. <laughs> the football player? No, the no. the other Pele's. No, the soccer player. <laughs> Brazilians have lots Got of him. names. Source: My Brazilian wife. What is this? People ask me if they mean the football player. No, the other right. Pele. There it is. Edson Arantes de Nessisem. Yeah. Yeah, what, what he wrote. That's yeah, not even that many names. Yeah, but Pele's better. Right. You can't remember any of that. Yeah, Where do you cool. even get Pele from? Yeah, exactly. It means, like, you're the best. Oh. Okay. I'm Brazilian. I have a lot of names. <laughs> Yeah, it's sort of like Alejandro Ramirez. He yeah. has more names because he's Costa Rican. He's got a lot of names. It's like Alvarez. Um, Alvarez. Yeah, something like is that. that. Is that right? Ramirez so, Alvarez. Something. He has some other name. Got mm -hmm. a lot of names. <laughs> Alberic Nasahima Petalano Kelly. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, Fabi's position's good. Rookie one, Bishop G five. Easy to play. All right, Ding hasn't moved since knight BD7. But he'll definitely play pretty, B4. Pretty good game so far. Rapport did play F3. Wow. Never play F3. Proving me wrong as usual. Queen D3, the only move. Played instantly. Still in his prep. Still an hour ahead on the clock. Now, King G2 is the only move. Right, because knight, knight D2, D2 Queen D7 is good D7 for black. Is, right, yeah. We looked at that. I didn't know it was that good, though. It's like winning. It's a, like almost a pawn and a half. Yeah, but White's position looks pretty stupid. Yeah, it always whenever the queen's on d7 and the queen's trapped on a8, it reminds me of Portish Fisher, obviously. Even Frankly. your game that you won, very similar. Who me? 
No, Karen. Oh, okay. The, I don't know what North, they were talking the about. game we talked about earlier, North Carolina, oh. where the guy's queen was trapped, oh, yeah. and then you, your queen and bishop, you gave them the smackdown, and then you took everything, and then you started trash talking, and then you told the guy to go back to prison. Man, it's tough. You're getting forty thousand to one on my one dollar bet for Ding to win seven in a row. Well, yeah, forty thousand to one's about right. Yeah. I am Rick. The problem is if you win seven in a row, the guy's not going to pay you 40000 mm -hmm. That's the problem. Right. I am Rick's gifted five subs. Every game could be decisive. So many right? years ago, when the Cardinals won the World Series, when there was like five, six weeks left in the season, they were like 11 games out of the playoffs. And there was a 200-1 a to 1 bet that Hikaru made that they wouldn't win the World Series. And that was about right. So he gave a $2,000 to $10 bet okay. with, with yeah, Mike yeah. Wilmering. And the the Cardinals, like, won every game for, like, three weeks. And they barely made the playoffs. I mean, nice, they nice. – and then, and then they won all their series, and then they barely won the World Series. They should have lost in, like, game five or six, and the guy didn't catch the ball. And wow. Anyway, they won. So And then, like, four months – Carl was in Europe at the time. And then, like four months later, when he came back, he paid him two thousand. Hikaru paid paid his wow. his his, uh, his bet. Respect, you know. Yep. But yeah, that was many years years ago. Go Ricks. Yeah, you guys remember that. But I mean, yeah, two hundred one was about right at that time. Yeah, probably a good bet for Hikaru. Needed that ten bucks. <laughs> yeah, I guess. So King G two, and we can still do a repetition. So it's, it still could right. be repetition. F3 is so bad that even though White's up a rook and a pawn, he's not even better. And he only has one way to draw. King G2, he can't play queen D7 anymore because bishop E3 right. escapes with yep. the queen. Mm -hmm. So this is this is still a draw. Man, Nepo knows it, remembers his prep. No, it must have been later than 2006. This all happened in... At least 2010, you know that story with with Naka. Right. Yeah, this was after it was after two. It was between 2010 and 15. So somewhere in there. Knight d2, then queen d7 is the problem. You'll trap your queen. Right. On a. You play king g2. Yeah. Then I'm gonna play knight a6 and win your queen, and then your king's no good. Your king is too exposed. So the engine likes black there. But he played King G2. Yeah, it must have been 2011. Yeah, it must have been. Yeah. 2006 is when they beat the Tigers, I think. When the pitcher made like five errors in one inning. Verlander, yeah, Verlander, yeah. Well, rookie one, knight e7, or knight a6, you know. If rookie seven, I can just take it. Man, the, 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 the oh, Tigers at the same time had Scherzer, Verlander, and Anibal Sanchez. And Sanchez, like, led the league in ERA. Ahead of those two, and we still no good, man. Harsh. So and then he did play queen g four check yep. king h one queen d three. They repeated mm -hmm. this position already. Oh yeah, they, and and not only that, but they 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 had David Price, man. And he has to play king g two again, and then uh, et cetera. He pretend f three is good because if he doesn't play queen d three, he's winning. So it doesn't cost anything. Right, right. I've never said F3 was good. <laughs> I thought Queen C2 was good. Then I'm like, hey, wait, Black's down a rook. Yeah, <laughs> uh, if Black's not down material, it's just over. Hikaru said report was no good. Want. Yeah, he didn't say that. My <laughs> thoughts are you're misquoting Hikaru. Yeah. I mean, he's pretty good, Rapport. No, it wasn't. No, no, that's. It wasn't Anibal Sanchez's no hitter, and it wasn't a no hitter. It was a perfect Blue game. Scherzer. No. Oh. It was. Um, I don't know Scherzer. If you say the pitcher's name, it it it, it wasn't a, a no hitter. It was a perfect game. Yeah, it was a perfect game. And then the governor said it is a. It, That's right. This the is governor. A perfect game now. Yeah, Galarraga. <laughs> Galarraga is correct. Oh, I didn't know it. Yeah, the, the umpire Galarraga. agreed that he was wrong the next day. He said sorry. Yeah, my bad. Sorry about rooting your perfect game. Yeah, if it was a no hitter, who cares? But perfect game. Right, right. Armando. 
Did you think the game would be a draw when you sacked a rook? No, but okay. It's a little <laughs> position. No, knight d2, queen d7 is good for black. Oh, wait, he just played g3 instead of taking. Yeah, we saw that, and then mm -hmm. he, that's all. The engine says I should take and play rook e4. Why is Nepo's queen on a8? He took a rook there. Come on. What do you but think? He's, but is, isn't isn't that report's queen on a8? Oh, you're right, right. Ne yeah, yeah. Nepo's black. Right. So that I guess it's not is why. So the engine sacrifices a pawn here in Duda's game with Naka. Takes, takes, rook e4. Yeah, that's what I wanted, one. yeah. I wanted that. Now, if I take this, I could win this pawn. Do I take with the queen? Oh, right. That's why... Why? You take with a rook and it's also... Equal. But that's why they're trading bishops so that you can't play knight mm -hmm. c3, like in our mm -hmm. line that we looked at. Yeah, it says, but okay, it's a draw. How's it going, the eradicator? It says that white's not even better here. He played knight d2? Is that for real? The chat's saying he played knight d2. Yes. Now queen d7, black's like almost winning. Yeah, he played queen d7 without thinking. That's good play. Wow. So what is Rapport up to? He forgot or or what? Yes. Maybe he knows he's worse, but he doesn't care. I'll just outplay Nepo and beat him. Well, the evaluation's like dipping a bit. You know, it's only like a pawn up. But, yeah, it seems weird, especially since he already knows that the guy knows it. I think he like forgot. He just wants to win. He knows that King G two would be a draw. He's like, I must win. Oh, I mean, he doesn't do something that's like losing. Even though he's drawn every game, he must he must win. Yeah. Man, Jan has good prep. You don't know what opening is going to be. Man, prepare for it's queen. very weird that like if is, I, I don't even know what to think about. If it. I prepared for queen b three, which is like the sixth most common move, I mm -hmm. wouldn't remember my prep. <laughs> yeah. He's just blitzing. That's it out. true. Yeah. God damn. I guess that's why he's one of the top five players in the because world. Because tiny Tofi, then White would play Bishop e three if his knight players. wasn't on d two, and then a seven would be, would be hanging. Top five players in Georgia. No matter how many times you say it, they're going to ask you. All right. Then, yeah, the bishop e3. We said this before this line was even played. Now this yeah. pawn's hanging. And c5 lets the queen out. So that's the end of that. Mm -hmm. Can't win the queen anymore. So you're just down a rook. He played knight e4 in the game. What's okay. Knight a6, is that right? That's the only move. Otherwise, you resign. And then he'll just take Because bishop e3 is coming. All right, yeah, somebody in chat was suggesting instead of ninety four rookie one. That was an engine. I guess that. so that you could play rookie seven, but it says bishop here's equal and bishop here's better for black. Yeah, that then, makes sense. Then here, whoa, Why? but okay. Yeah, the queen's still trapped. So, and this mm -hmm. move even defends a seven extra just in mm -hmm. case. <laughs> right. Just in case. Yeah, knight a6 is the only move. Mm -hmm. Then queen takes, always play bishop f8. Yeah, I mean, the material isn't bad for white. White's even up material. But the king is terrible, the structure's bad, and mm -hmm. black's going to have a lot of initiative because this queen can attack everything. So that's going to be good for right, black. Right, the rooks don't have any infiltration squares because d7 and e7 are protected. Yeah. And he's got to watch out his king doesn't get checkmated by the queen and bishop. Even mm -hmm. the knight can start coming into the game. Right. Yeah, black's going to have a lot of initiative here, and that's going to be very important, and, and, and it'll outweigh the... And we can kick out this knight. It'll outweigh the, the small material advantage white But has. Report must have thought he wasn't worse here because he would have played the draw. Yeah, he So he saw this and thought he was fine. Up material, yeah. But, yeah. It's a bad king. Just, you know, he doesn't know his classics. Mm -hmm. Everybody look at the game Portish Fisher. Then you'll see that the queen's better in these positions. The rooks just can't get active. Still, the game will be a draw because he draws all of his games. Nah. Nepo's going to win this. Yeah. yeah Harsh. I agree. 
You got a lot. And Karen's time. always right. Damn, he's confident there. Mm-hmm. She's always predicting the result. That's true. I remember she said Magnus. I mean, uh, Naka would win that one game. Yeah. And then he did. Nicholas got this. King thing. takes is also good. The engine says they're equally good. I like bishop takes because you know. Always play that. Always yeah. like bishop f8. I like playing king f8 though, like in general. Yeah. Like I mean, in the opening, I like playing king f8. Oh yeah, like in the Chagorian. Yeah. And, and also the classical mm-hmm. Sicilian you play. Naka played all these good moves, takes and rook e4, huh. completely equalizing. Yeah, Duda missed his chance to be better when he played g3. Queen d2 seems to give him a slight edge. So the idea is that if they trade queens, I could take. I mean, bishops, I could take with the queen. Maybe. I could. I don't know. Maybe no, this now this be. isn't. This is. This is different. Right. Because now I can take. And um, when you take back, you're not getting a tempo. You can't take with mm-hmm, the pawn because mm-hmm. this yeah, is hanging. hanging. Right. And this is better for white because I have yeah, d5 that's good. and knight d5. That worked out. Yeah. Yeah. Rook that worked C1. out nicely. Yeah, this is just better for white. Then I could play h4 and cement my knight. Yeah, and white's just better here. Now if I play rook takes um, e4, you can actually take either way and you're fine because you're a tempo ahead and g3 weakens white's king. Like you want your pawn back here. You don't want your king you know, weakened like this because there's a white square. Oh, no, white squares, yeah. Agreed. Yeah, the engine says they're both equal, taking either way. The Master John, good to see you again. He was on my stream uh, last night. Hey, Master John. How's it going? So Naka's finally equalized. He, he did play Bishop, Bishop G5. Bishop G5, Bishop E7, the only move. Uh-huh. And then, uh, I mean, he could take it, the knight. He'll probably play Rook E1. Right. Right. That's too bad Rajabob didn't castle Queen's side, confusing his opponent. Thank you, Eruhen. So somebody was asking, will Fabi be in time trouble very early this game? They're on move 12, and he's taken an hour. But I think that's because he's just yeah. trying to figure the opening out. He'll probably play better pace now. Yeah, but 28 moves, I mean, he can eat. It's okay. But it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> but okay. Yeah. And he, could, he could get into time pressure, yeah. Hello, Persian Golf. And I ran, I ran so far away. Da, 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 da. Yeah, Iran's good at chess. Yeah? Yeah. Good old Iran. Mm-hmm. You have all the Middle Eastern countries, Iran's killing it. Mm-hmm. They're too good. I couldn't get away. Yeah, more Diabati's like, I'm a grandmaster and I'm no good in Iran, so I'll move to the U.S. <laughs> Doesn't really make a lot of sense, but... Yeah, right. still true, man. Yeah, Iran has a lot of good GMs. A lot of good young players, too. They do well at the World Youth and Cadet. Mm-hmm. Minus one is not much worse. That's, I think, exactly much worse, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, he'll play Rook E1 and then take on E5 and have an extra double pawn. How's it going, Craft Single Square? He played Rook C1, unpinning his knight. Weird stuff. Mm-hmm. Rook B1 wild, and then Rook C1. Wild, wild stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the engine says black is at least okay here. I mean, black can't complain if you play black in this opening. This is... Can't ask for more than this. I can't complain, but mm-hmm. sometimes I still do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the engine says black has completely equalized, and several moves are good. He should play queen a7 like Ding likes to do. Yeah, the, the yeah. Italian. That'll show him. Yeah. Queen a7 is one of the top two moves. Because, you know, you're getting out of this. Rook e8 is slightly preferred. It's just, Normal. Just, just slightly. Normal move, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, if you're black in this position, you get your pawn on c6, defending d5, blocking the bishop, 
your bishops are out, your knights are out, you have some play on the queen side. That's that's all you can ask for. And you just hope to outplay your opponent, which Ferruja hasn't been doing this tournament. No. And he does take He's thinking a, about Yeah, he hasn't he hasn't recaptured yet. This is the longest think of the game for Jan by quite a bit. Yeah. Which way do I take the queen? The engine says they're about the same. It prefers bishop takes slightly, just just slightly. Only slightly. And dude is thinking, now he has nothing. Yeah, Naka's good when he's slightly worse at equalizing. Quiet down, computer. <laughs> we know you want to do stuff. You're a computer. We need one more viewer to have 666. Oh, yeah. Maybe Satan can watch. One of my least favorite hands in blackjack. Yeah. I can see that. That's a bad blackjack hand, yeah. Yeah, 18 doesn't win very often. No. Beat 17. <laughs> it is better than 17. Yeah. It's if if I understand the rules properly. Mm -hmm. Barely better. Mm. I don't know if that's the right strategy. To always hit on 18. Always capture a queen with bishop takes. So I have an appointment, as I mentioned, so I have to leave here at 11.15. Dang. I cannot forget. So you want all the games to end pretty soon. <laughs> and then once I leave, then Spencer has to listen out for the delivery people. Oh, yeah, I'll have my phone handy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll turn it on so if it yeah. beeps, I can hear it. I'll probably text Beep. you because they're supposed to give me a heads up when they're coming. Mm -hmm. 313, that's where we used to live. In the 313. Mm -hmm. That's right. My favorite number is four two one. It's prime. Not, it's a twin prime. Not four two zero. Well, so that's the thing is four nineteen and four two one are both primes mm. ah. surrounding four twenty. That's why they're twin primes. Thanks, Raj. So many months. Hey, Raj. Yeah, thirty six hey, months. That's even like a lot of years, really. Yeah, but how's the dealer showing a six when we have three sixes, Grandmaster Gus? Come on, be serious. <laughs> it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, fake street. <laughs> Splitting sixes is correct against a five or a six. Hmm. Hey, Laszlo. Good old Laz. <laughs> How many twin primes are there? I don't know, infinite, I guess? Oh, snap. Is that true? Mm hmm. Where's Holden when we need him? Would he would he know? I mean, that's like a theoretical question. It's not he wouldn't have to figure anything out. Like, you just Holden know it. Holden knows a lot of stuff. Yeah. Well, right, right. He might be something he knows. Yeah. yeah, I think he knows. Nobody knows. Infinitely many. In yes. <laughs> it's not proven. Six sixty six is might be way higher than twenty one. Hmm. Don't believe in primes. <laughs> I don't know, any math problem you've ever given Holden, he just does in his head. And it's mm -hmm. <laughs> you hate math? Goldbach conjecture. Math is all right. It's reading you should Prime hate. Primetime TV. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I liked math a lot when I was in school. The Harry Ball Theorem. <laughs> That's a good one. I like the name. Mm -hmm. Reading is great for the brain. Does that count for like this chat that I'm reading? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does the bigger prime not eat the smaller prime? Yeah. It's true. Mm. Yeah, Naka does love his knights. That's true. Mm hmm. Is nobody moving still forever? Right. Oh, that was a move. Rookie one. That was a move. That good, was the good, move. Good, good. Yeah, it wants to sacrifice the pawn, just castle, and then just play rook e8, rook d8, and say your extra double pawn doesn't matter. Yeah, who needs it? I wonder if he'll actually say that. Hmm. 
then ding. I guess I won't read that out loud then. <laughs> oh, okay. They, he played always played bishop, bishop f8. f8. Then it didn't like that move. No, it says that's terrible. Why not? Queen takes h3. Did it want king g2 then? I guess. No, I think it wanted bishop e3 because you're like almost mm -hmm. threatening that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Even though you're kind of trapped there, right? Yeah, I you think know, it wants if, to if go queen here. queen h3, bishop yeah. base, seven, c5. Well, maybe I it's okay. Can, yeah, can, it's okay. I can you still get out. out. Yeah. 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 You could probably even, like, just bring your rooks in and such. Dang, Rapport's going to lose it, like I said, after, you know. Well, after queen h3, the engine <laughs> move is to yeah. go back here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't understand the play. Why he did what he yeah, did? Yeah, it's really weird, right? Yeah, it was, it was a ton of prep. To he that. prepped to a draw, then didn't draw, mm -hmm. and now he's losing because of it. None of that. None of that makes sense. Yeah. Why did he prep so much, and then it was a perp, and then why didn't he take the perp then? And he knew the line, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Clearly. Yeah, but this isn't like an easy win for Black. This is just like the engine likes Black a lot. Agreed, but I mean, still, Rapport must know that he should have drawn it. Yeah, maybe he doesn't. But then what, what did he prep? Well, what kind of prep was that? Exactly. That makes no sense. The guy played all the engine moves. Mm -hmm. The guy played all engine moves. Could he have not been in prep and we thought he was in prep? Possibly. Well, he played instantly until King G1. Right, like, yeah. Yeah. And all the moves were engine moves. Right. Just... Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it's hard to say what really happened. Yeah, nobody's moving anymore. No, I, I mean, this I would lose with Black myself, of course. Yeah, and the other thing is, if you don't think you're better with white, because he must think he's better, he, he, if he thought he was equal or worse, he's like an hour behind on the clock. So you wouldn't want to play this position with no time on your clock when you have a forced draw. Yeah, but Report doesn't play for a draw. He doesn't care. Well, he he draws all of his games, but still plays like a maniac. Well, he shouldn't have prepped to a draw then, I guess. Well, I'll teach him. These are two of the most uncompromising players in the event. A queen f5 will just move our bishop. It's, you know, not a problem. What if he doesn't see it? Yeah, queen h3 is the way to go, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the knight wants to get to a better square, like e6 or d3 or c2. Yeah, who needs those pawns anyway, Daster? Yeah, after bishop e3 attacking this, the engine wants the knight to come back to e6. Have a, sort of like in Naka's game with Ding. He did take it pretty mm -hmm. quickly, too. He said, but okay. <laughs> took it. One for each year. Yeah, but Rapport draws all of his games, so he, it still has to be a draw mm, for some no. reason. Although maybe Napo does not draw all of his games. May, maybe <laughs> like due to losing yesterday, confused Rapport, and he tried to lose. Right. And then he didn't. And then Rajabov didn't win, so now he has to lose this game to catch up to Duda. Does Jan know he is significantly winning here? I think so. I think he knows he's he should be well, winning. I wouldn't call it significant. I think right. Black's just it's like barely better. winning. Yeah, <laughs> if anything. But he knows his position is very good. And he's happy with it. Mm -hmm. She's gone. Oh why? Wow. Let's see if any moves have been played, and the answer is no. Rick C one very weird move. I don't like it. He unpinned the knight. Also, this move doesn't do anything. Yes. Right, it does nothing at all. That's how you play. You very incrementally try to improve your position. Not sure this improves it. But... It's weird that Ali Rez is so good at bullet and ultra bullet, and when he plays in a slow tournament, he plays as slow as possible. <laughs> yeah. Wait, somebody's talking about blackjack? The only thing I know? Yeah, he Where said like, if you have 18 against a 6, you either stay or hero. double double down. That's Grandmaster Gus. Hey, Gus. 
It's like I'm wearing nothing at all. <laughs> right. Soft 19 against a 6 is a double. He's correct. Stupid sexy yeah. Flanders. Yeah, when you double soft 19 against a 6, the table gets mad. Also, when right, you do right. anything correct, the table gets mad. <laughs> yeah, if you hit 12 against the 3, the table gets mad. If you hit anything against a 2, the table gets mad. If you double right. soft 18 against 3, 4, 5, and 6, the table gets mad. Let's see, what else? The, t the table gets mad a lot. Uh, <laughs> what else can yeah. you do that's right that the table gets mad? I don't see why they... Why yeah, if you hit 12 against it's a 2, the table gets mad. Why do they care? So they're crazy. They think, like, <laughs> yeah. the cards are fated to go to them. But then if you right. do a wrong thing, you're you change changing, fate. You're changing, changing, you're changing yeah. the deck the cards by playing the incorrectly. Right. So that's important to them. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like being crazy. <laughs> I taught Giannis how to play blackjack in 10 minutes because he's a mathematician mm -hmm. and then he came and watched me once and I told him everybody at the table plays wrong every hand and he said everybody at the table plays wrong every hand and I said I know like, I mean like really wrong I mean like incredibly yeah. wrong like they'll have a hard 16 against a 4 and they'll hit and he's like well, wait a minute what? what's going on here the 4 is pretty good though yeah <laughs> they'll split 10s yeah. they they're like 20 is no good let's split blackjack yeah. is no fun what if they get two aces? Then you look silly for you mm -hmm. know, questioning them. Then they still lose. Oh, so yeah, what somehow. a boring game. Go yeah, blackjack. Blackjack's pretty boring. It sucks. Blackjack's the best. Well, everyone, There's not much to do. You to you know? Know? Yeah, you get to exercise. Look. Memorize a few. You right. know. You get to argue with the crazy people at the table mm -hmm. who say you're doing it wrong when you're not. <laughs> Thanks, Casper VLD. Hey, Casper. No, I like poker better. Yeah, you can read a card at the table that tells you the right play. Some people do. Very few. That's right. They accuse you of using an engine. <laughs> Blackjack at Hooters Casino in Vegas was not boring. Hooters Casino? Is it really right. Hooters Casino? Probably. Probably not. Sounds like well, a place probably to go. Is. That sounds like something that would be a casino. <laughs> when I played Blackjack at... Um, where do we play? The Circa. The women are scantily clad, and they're, like, dancing while they're dealing. They're, like, strippers and they're blackjack dealers. <laughs> now, here's why that's weird. Do they get no, two no, paychecks, though? You're not, you're not <laughs> telling it correctly. What? They're the dancers and then the dealers, but they're not you're right. dancing. No, and no, dealing but the dealers the are, like, sort of dancing, not, too. A little. Not, not, so not, much. Not, not much. But but here's my point. When, when they're dealing and they're done and they go dancing... Here's here's what I'm saying. It's not easy to be like an exotic dancer. You you take a hundred women. How many could be exotic dancers where you'd want to watch them? Not right, many. Right. Not many. It's hard to be a blackjack dealer. That's a yeah, you got to go to school and learn like how to do everything. That's like two totally different skill sets. So I don't I don't know. There's a lot of people that could that would be good at doing both. And somehow all their dealers do that. So I don't know. I, I guess they get paid more than a normal blackjack dealer does at a normal casino. They're not having to do any kind of fancy dance moves. No, but they're not like <laughs> they're not like four hundred pounds. Their ass they're not four hundred pounds and ugly. Not hard at all. Thank no, no, you, but crazy not EG, you know. for subscribing. I don't know yeah. what the point Just is. Just like I told yeah. you. <laughs> poker dealer is harder. Yeah, but the poker yeah. dealers aren't exotic dancing after they're. I hope they're not, because man. What if Joe Exotic was the dealer? Yeah, he has a right name. Ah, yeah. you pay your way through dealer school by exotic dancing. <laughs> Ooh, that is a good idea. Uh -huh. Then you could do both. Yeah. That is a good idea. Go blackjack. <laughs> okay, so we all agree blackjack is great. All right. Back, if you like boring games. Back to... We like, like chess. Like, <laughs> like chess. <laughs> you like throwing your money away and, you know... All right, let's see. Queen takes <laughs> rook a d1. The engine wants to put it in h with h5, but h6 makes a lot more sense to me. That's what he played. h5 weakens g g5. I don't like h5. That's the engine number one move. I like h5. I, I, I like left. Hmm. Yeah, but h6. Oh, yeah, but then, uh, you know, yeah. The engine doesn't like that as much as H5. It, does, it likes it way less. Actually. I know. I don't know why. It's it kind of weird. Reasonable to me. Seems totally normal. <laughs> Go H6. 
Maybe because it wants to play h4. It wants h5, h4 here. It Actually, says that's the worst move ever. Knight c5? Man. Yeah. Why is that so good? It gets rid of the knight on e4. And then if you don't trade, the knight could either take or go to e6. But so what should should he have done? I mean, and why is that the so important? The engine kept playing bishop e3. Here it wants so to play to stop a3. It, yeah. Still, then I can do knight c5, like I right. was crying about. Then I guess we could take and play b4 and start getting, you know, advance over there. I guess. I wouldn't think it mattered that much. Yeah, the engine hates the way humans play normal positions. If I was black, I'd be worried about rook d8 until I saw queen takes f1 mate. Then I'd be less worried. Yeah. Well, it's not that a knight c5 is difficult to find. It's just, you know, I mean, he'll play it even it's, anyway. It's funny how different the report is from the engine. Because report went into this thinking, this is a chess position. Either one of us can win. I don't want to draw. And the engine's like, what are you doing? What am you're, I you're, doing? You're, the engine says like Black's three point three up. I'm living life Obviously, right now. Obviously, that's not what reports thinking. He's thinking this is just a position, and either player can win. But yeah, yeah. Black's king is super safe, and White's king is never going to be safe. And this pawn yeah. majority is not going anywhere, and right. this pawn majority is going somewhere. Yeah, he and also he's just got a lot of weaknesses. You know, his structure is bad. and Yeah, he could lose all of his pawns. He wishes it was a little solid, more solid there. Yeah, White's King is kind of sad. Does Jan think he's three points up here? No, Jan yeah. thinks he's better. Yeah, they, I mean, they don't, they don't really think in computer evaluation. He doesn't think he's winning. He thinks he's better. He just does what he thinks is best. He's like, I'm up an hour on the clock, and I'm better, and I'm black. And then he high fives himself in his head. Exactly. Black's better because his king is safer. His pawn majority is better. F3 is weak. C4 is weak. And white's, white's king is just never going to be safe. Black's king is always going to be safe. And yeah. white can't activate his rooks because he's getting mated on the back rank or he's losing his F3 pawn. So this rook is babysitting this. This rook's babysitting this. If you want to have rooks for a queen, you got to get your rooks over here. Then, then now you have rooks. But you're always getting mated if you do that. So your rooks basically have to be passive while black can gain space and put pressure on all these pawns. But yeah, I wouldn't think... If I, if I didn't have an engine, I would think black is slightly better yeah. than not winning. All right, I, w I wouldn't think this is so mm -hmm. bad. It's like two rooks for a queen. Usually, obviously, good. report thinks like we do. Like white's fine because he wouldn't have gone into this if he thought black was winning. The engine has spoken. Okay, he played rook e d one. What a baby move! What a baby! Time to always sack the exchange. Rook e d one. Oh, he wants to not mm -hmm. trade and protect his bishop a four attacking the rook. Bishop b three. Bishop c four. Papa John's. That's what the engine says. It actually says Papa John's if you oh, read yeah. the fine print. <laughs> fine print. Yeah, yeah, Papa John's. Now, I like this idea because it's silly looking. Wait, what's Grandmaster Gus doing? How is he writing like that where things happen? He's redeeming his message. Or he's redeeming... You know, I advise like nobody message. play blackjack ever. But if you can't help yourself, at least play perfectly. Right? <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. true. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> if you play one dollar to five dollar blackjack in downtown Vegas, assuming you can find that game, I mean they're gonna have bad rules like six to five on blackjack, and you're getting free drinks, you're not you're not you're not an underdog. If you want a drink, if you're like I want nine beers, if that's the kind of person you are, it'll be cheaper for you to play like five dollar blackjack and get nine beers than actually pay for the nine beers. I'm not saying you want nine beers, but you, know. you could get more expensive alcohol, too. Problem is you're playing in downtown. Ugh. I thought it was illegal to count. You, you thought wrong. What, I mean, what are they going to do? Using your brain is not illegal. Yeah. We're reading your mind, and 
Yeah. We can tell you're it's, counting. It's not illegal to count. <laughs> the casinos want you to think that so you don't count. <laughs> no, but it's funny because in the 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s, they didn't have this six to five blackjack. What is six to five? Instead is of paying instead of paying you three to two, they pay you six to five. Hmm. So to make sure you can never win. They want to make sure. So that's terrible. That's very common in Vegas now, a six to five blackjack. Also, they hit soft 17 to give themselves more advantages. Twenty five or six to five, that's right. Good song, almost. <laughs> yeah. Where you hit until you get 65. What are you, Homer? Hit me. Hit me. I wore this hat the day Kennedy got shot, and it's brought me good luck ever since. I want you to have it, Homer. Oh, new dealer. And they all leave. All right, so this is, Hakar is equalized. Rajabov has not equalized. You think so, Kingpin? Faruja has equalized, <laughs> and Jan is probably winning. He played knight c5. Exclaim. Jan plays pretty good. Yeah, he'll win. The only move he made the engine doesn't like is I agree with, h6. I right. like that better than h5. So I actually cut my own hair anyway, so mm -hmm. I'll talk to myself about it. Yeah, when you have two rooks for a queen, if you're better, which you could be, that's because your rooks are good. Not because they're defending and they can't move. So, for example, in the starting position of chess, if you remember what that is. If you don't, I'll show you. Okay? There it is. If you take all the pieces off the board and one side has a queen and one side has two rooks and the pawns are all where they are. So white, white takes off these pieces and black takes off these pieces. So it's a queen against two rooks. White has a big advantage in that position because the rooks can't do anything. So we just move pawns. We move our queen attacking the pawns, and the rooks can't do anything. The rooks are behind all the pawns. When it's an open position and the rooks can get active, like in the game Fisher Tall, the first game Fisher beat Tall, for example, then the rooks are better than the queen because the rook, there's two of them. There two rooks, one for each of you. So it's an important distinction. Here, th these rooks aren't active. This is defending this, and this is defending this. My king is worse than black's king. That's obvious. These pawns can't be attacked. And, and so it's just better for black. It's not as much better for black as the engine thinks it is. I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised black's better. I'm surprised the engine thinks black is completely winning. So he played... I was wondering about this. What if he just... Tries to defend on the third rank with his rook laterally. You know, then it could be a little bit more active there. Like rook e3 is coming up. Wow, the engine says this move's not good. Yeah. It just I, take, takes this. I, I thought he'd try to maybe run the queen off with the knight. Oh, play knight, knight f2? Yeah. Of course, it blocks. So, yeah, it's a little passive move. What does Karen like better, nf2 or nfts? <laughs> so, anyways, queen moves. Yeah, to the problem the is bond. if you leave me, let me have my knight here, and I go to e6 at some point. I can run your bishop off and play knight. Man, the knights, the queen and knight and the bishop make a good combination there, attacking the king. If I was white, I would want to trade knights because I don't like this knight coming here and the bishop coming to c5, and I'm getting attacked. The engine says plus five after knight takes wow. knight, and then bishop c5. Threatening nothing? Right. Plus five. Plus five. Yay, ten gift Whoa. subs from Crazy it's Egg. student. Is it? Yeah. Yay, Crazy Egg. Crazy like a fox. Nice. Thank you. Just like I taught him. It's time for another train, <laughs> too, so we can be on level five immediately if two people give 100 cent to dues. Yay. I'm not sure if it is time for another train, but it yeah, might can be. Can you click on the OBS? So it's oh, sorry. That's right. It's just a little bit bigger and it's also mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Comfy and current. He didn't, though. He played 96, which also is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said if I was black, yeah, I'd want to keep knights on, and he never did. Never trade, right? <laughs> Thank you, Crazy EG. Yeah, you can see the rooks don't have anywhere active to go. And F3 needs to be babysat. 
One thing he could do is play c5, knight d4, but that makes this like bishop that. bad. Yeah. So yeah, this is why the engine wanted to play h5 earlier. It wants to play h4 and say, where's your bishop going? The answer is nowhere, because if the bishop goes, you lose your f1 with a check. So this is annoying. Also, f5, f4 is annoying. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, well, after f5, knight f2, I'm okay, because your knight's attack. Oh, so yeah, So you have to yeah. do it slowly. I forgot about that one. Man, the engine's even playing a5, a4. Play, it like, just doesn't see anything good for white to do because white needs to babysit this f1. As you were saying, the rook can go and babysit this way. Anyway, Jan obviously likes his position. He's playing quickly and he's never at the board. Rook d7 is risky because the queen is lined up there. Doesn't that lose knight immediately? G5. Looks like it loses immediately. No, guess. it doesn't lose immediately. After a knight here, you can play rook d2. Uh, Bishop b4. Man, it looks like it loses immediately. I get two for one. Oh, f3 uh, hanging. Rook d8 check. Right, f3 hanging. I get it. Rook g1. Oh. Good luck in your tournament. Did we get a train going? No. Who needs it? You're always banned. C5 hangs the C pawn. Otherwise, it's a good idea. Yeah, I do like that idea. If it didn't but you got two you, two guys here. One for each, yeah. Also, knight d6 hangs your c-pawn more. Chat says that Rajabov castled queenside. Finally. Engine hates it. Looks like the leaders are in good shape here, huh? Nepo and Fabi. I wonder why Castle Queen says to the king side. Yeah, when he developed his king side. And then he's like, okay, I got Castle Queen side. Because he can't play knight f3 check because his e7 bishop is hanging. Like, if I could play this mm -hmm. and not lose my e7 bishop, I'd be like, all right. But yeah, I'm losing my e7 bishop, so I can't do that. But if I could do that, then I would. I mean, when you play Big queen money. Oh, well, here it is. 399. Thanks, Root Beer. 89. Castle's queen side. That'll show Fabi. So yeah. Rick C1's also okay, but just wants to take this pawn. By the way, Fabi's almost caught up on time. He's only down 10 minutes. Regibov thought a right. long time about his last few moves. Terrible. Fabi's like, this is great for me. I'm the best. Yeah. Fabi and Jan going to both get plus five when the tournament's over. Mm -hmm. And then and then Magnus will refuse to play, and they're both plus five, so that's good. And they get to play. Oh, there he is. Craft single square. Hooray. Thank you for gifting another sub. Alex Sienko's not winning the tournament. He might be. Ooh, 734. Ann Arbor's area code. That's how many viewers we have. Huh. What's the tiebreaker? Nobody knows. Only Greg Nobody Shahadi knows. knows. And he ain't telling. Mm -hmm. I agree with you, John. I thought Ding and Ali Reza would do better in the tournament. Everybody uh, thought they'd do better than they're doing now. Oh, uh, I didn't really think Ding was. You thought he'd be minus one? Man, mm. harsh. Not too surprised. Hey, Wally, how's it going? He says, what's the tiebreaker for players yeah, finishing? Don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Why does he want the choo-choo to go through? Don't know. Something about choo-choo. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Wally? I'm only pawn in Game of Life. Mongo, that's his name. So this is tactically tricky. After here, here, it looks like we have two threats. Rook but we, E3. But we, oh. You could, but you can take this, so you have Rick D5. That's mm. the engine line. Mm -hmm. And then we just like play Queen B3, and we're up a pawn, and we're better. Yeah, this is black struggling. Yeah, my king is safer, and I'm up a pawn. Pawn doesn't matter so much. It's only double the F pawn. 
So oh, this is what he was hoping. The chat says that the soda and burger is score is the tiebreaker. Soda and burger? Yeah, I call well, it soda. Soda and burger. I call it yep. soda and burger. Soda and burger. <laughs> yeah, you get both then. Nobody knows what that is. I actually like that crazy thing. I mean, it's complicated, but it mm -hmm. kind of makes sense. The dog didn't like it. Maybe it's, that was the delivery. <laughs> you like have to add up. Yeah, because uh, it's not barking enough. You add up like how your opponents did and how you did against them. I, I forgot how it works. You get like a score for how you did against your opponent based on how they did in the tournament, and then all those scores are added up, something like that. You know, like if you beat somebody who has six, you get six, and if you mm -hmm. draw somebody who has five, you get two and a half because mm -hmm. you drew them, and if you lose, you get zero. Something like that. Man, the Farouja like always thinks a long time when he's playing a slow game. Yeah. He never moves. Hey, he did it again. Craft single square. They are playing against the same people, but not yet. Like, like if if you beat somebody who has a better score, you get more soda burger score. Two hundred bits from the California cooler. Right. Let me give you guys an example so you're less confused. It is confusing. Let's say after 14 games, you have 12 draws and two wins. And the guy you're tied with also has 12 draws and two wins. Your two wins are against the guy who came in first. The other guy's two wins are against the guy who came in last. Your tie breaks are better. Yeah. Tu, tu comprends? That was say, a say, very good example. Say oui, j'ai compris. A nice, clear example. I'm going to check on this. I actually might go ahead and head out. Oh, yeah, it's almost oh, yeah. that time. Huh? Means, Thanks, Cage Bruno. See you guys. I have to run do stuff, mm -hmm. and I'm going to check on Oh, but I'll miss you. Oh. Bye, Karen. Well, I mean, I'll... You'll be back by 2? I'll be mm -hmm. back probably about one ten, so I can just come back. Oh, great. Yay. Awesome. See you guys. Bye, Bye. Karen. And then I'll be texting you guys. Okay. Oui, j'ai compris. Uh. Ben, can you say something in German? Nine! <laughs> I guess not. Can I say something in German other than nine? Man, it's tough. Uh, Fischer's Fritz Fisch. Blah! Fischer's Fritz Fisch Frischer Fischer. How's that? That's pretty German. Das stimmt. Ich bin ein Vegetarier. Keine Gegenspiel. Ohne Schinken. Ohne Schinken, more important. He's been thinking forever here after Rook mm -hmm. C1. Now Rook C1's a good move because it gained 20 minutes on the clock. Yeah, like the move doesn't matter. Every move is equal and he doesn't move. Yeah, there's, right. he's out of sorts this tournament because he thinks forever in random yeah, positions. I agree. Not in ones where he's calculating 30 moves ahead. Yeah, he finally put it in H. It says A3 is terrible. I don't understand. Maybe there's some line where... Well, I like Knight F4. should be 4 he's preventing. Knight F4. Yeah. Well, I think he wants to play here. Yeah. Knight F4 is the best move. But if he takes it, we take and yeah. so forth. So that's why... He, H5, he also played good. Rook D3. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this looks like white is floundering. What a fish. Yeah, if only this pawn structure were different. Like if this pawn was here and the king was on g1, now we'd be talking. But yeah, you're always defending this pawn. You're always defending mate. And then the h4 is coming. The knight's coming to f4, etc. The it's engine says third. bishops, yeah, bishop c5 and queen f5 are the two best moves. Hmm. I like queen f5. I don't think I'd play bishop mm -hmm. c5, mm -hmm. though. Queen f5 is number one in the hood. Man, maybe the engine was right. He played h6 and h5. Yeah. Who would have thought the engine would be right? Okay, he played h4, putting it in h. Oh, that's because Naka played bishop c6. Uh -huh. Naka didn't play bishop a4. Too complicated. Mm. Bishop c6, solid. h4, x-clam. Yeah. Looks pretty good positionally. Now white is very slightly better. 
So if you, why can't he take the B pawn? Bam. Because we're D B, then you could play Queen D four. This says. Uh, then you trade and play Knight D six. I don't know. This is terrible. F three X clan. Oh oh. And then Rook D B one traps the Queen. Yeah, because you can't. Yes, yeah, so you have to take yep. the Knight now. Yeah. You yep. have to. Tricky stuff here. Mm -hmm. Tricky stuff. And then stuff. go back. And then White's winning. Yeah, his bishop's not Bishop's too good. bad. If it, if it's on d6, then I like then, black. Then, then yeah. how you talking? f6, even better. Mm. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. So he put it in h, h4. Yeah, the engine thought bishop c6 was a bit meek. It's not yeah. really where you want your bishop. It's pretty meek. A blockaded bishop is of little value. It's so meek, it shall inherit the earth. That's pretty meek. <laughs> yeah. After we're done with it. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, so after a long castle, Fabi's not moving. Oh, oh he ding, did do ding, it. He did move Ferugia, queen a7. The ding maneuver. Mm -hmm. Ding expecting it. How long did he think on that one? A long time. Yeah, that was a long 49 time. 49 minutes? 49. I mean, you know, and it's B3 just like quickly. a random move. It's, it's a chess Pretty move. random. Yeah. Yeah, Ali Rez is playing really slowly this tournament and not playing well. Yeah. Not his usual effervescent self. His position's fine, but too slow. And using an hour and 20 minutes for his first 13 moves in sort of a boring position. Well, Danny's doing the commentary so that, you know, you can watch other commentaries. Mm-hmm. Ugh. A, B, A, B. And, yeah, the engine likes black a little bit, even. It's about equal. Very little. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The engine line's all crazy. The engine line is white sacks a pawn, then white plays here. Bishop d6, queen d6, rook c4. It's all equal. All zeros, all zeros. Man. It kind of seems like it's going to be good for white. Once yeah, but you're, wins the pawns. You better win them, though. So if I take on d6, I won't... Oh, because e2 is also loose there. Rook a c8. It's two bishops against two knights. What else? Bishop c3, b5. Even this is equal. Yeah, yeah. I'd be I mean, if I was white here. Yeah. Everything is always all zeros. I don't like it. All right, but none of this is going to happen, I assume. It's too interesting. Okay, he traded on b3. See, now, Ding knows if you play b4 and they take on Passant that chess.com has this little x clam and explains what on Passant is. He didn't want to confuse people, so he just played b3. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now there's no on Passant capture. Makes it easier. So black has no trouble. It's just that black's playing very slowly. And there's no increment in the first time control. So when he gets to move 30 and he has two minutes left, he actually has two minutes left. He doesn't have two minutes plus 30 seconds to move, which is the usual nowadays. He did play queen f5. And Jan plays pretty good. Magnus should play him. Yeah, that's a nice knight on e6. Stops rook d8. Defends the bishop. Defends all these key squares. He's prepared to advance on the king side now. f is weak. Well, the bishop on g3 was stopping queen takes f3. Mm -hmm. Well, it's mostly what it was. Getting in the way there. So after th this is an engine line I want to look at because I don't understand. Okay. It says H four is the best move. Uh huh. Well, what what if knife I knife F four? I take guess. that. It doesn't take it. Knife F four probably. Uh huh. You gotta stay on the F three pawn I think. It's like knight G six. Ah, uh, knight G six. That it was saying knight G six. So it says this is the only move. There's no other move. 
Otherwise, you resign. Like, why can't I make some other move? Oh, queen queen h3 threatens mate in the bishop. Hmm. So rook here, that way I have, like, if queen h3, I can check and take this, I guess. Mm, that's really tricky. Mm-hmm. Then knight g6, knight d2, knight h4, rook h4, queen d3. Mm, this is tough for white. Yeah, it says knight f one's the best move. This just looks winning. Just winning. C five's forced a five. Man, this is tough. Yeah, this is tough for white. It's king's no good. So that's why you can play h4. But yeah, the engine really hates white's position. It's like minus four or something, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Not a good decision to play uh, knight d2, I guess it was. Mm -hmm. And go into this end game. It is surprising to me how much better Black's position is. I would just think Black's better and the game's over. The engine's like, if I play another engine, I win every game. I, um, you know, I lift free weights, Kingpin. Mm. No, Daster, it should have been a draw there if he played King, King G2 and so on. Naka played Rook F E8. Nepo had to repeat uh, for sort of a perpetual. Yeah, I still think this game's going to end in a draw. Black looks really solid now. If only he could play F7 to F5, then he could play for an advantage. Yeah, this is fine for Black. And he did take on e5. Not, uh, Fabi did. How long did he think about that? 13 minutes and change. That's a complicated decision. Knight c6. Oh, so bishop if he, f6 is good, yeah. Bishop f6 is best. If he plays rook e3, which is okay, then bishop c5. But okay. So, uh, then it wants to play rook h3. Bishop f6, knight e5. Oh yeah, I didn't. Right. I thought I'd just take back. I didn't see my so bishop bishop's hanging. hanging. Yeah, so what's the point there? But okay. All right. What's I the assume move? we still take this. Yeah. And then queen c one. Yeah, queen c one. I was thinking something like this, like queen f three. King b seven best. King g four. Yeah, because you can't play king b eight. Yeah, queen c one's really good. Trying to attack the king from this three, angle. Rook d one. Wow, the best move is king c six. Didn't see that one. Oh, a Petrosian move, huh? <laughs> Classic Petrosian. King c6, man. I'd probably play rook c1 then. King c6. I guess he's trying to escape this way. Good luck. Well, maybe. Rook c1, king b6. Yeah, what's to check here? King b6, rook d1. I guess bishop d4 check. There's just no way this is going to happen. He'll never in a million years play king c6. And then this isn't me because I have rook b1 or d1. This is the best move, though. This is still theory. Bishop a7. I like that move. Yeah, keep him, keep him out mm -hmm. there. Flush him out. Threatening queen c4 resigns. It's Napo that says, but okay. But okay. He did play bishop f6, so we guarantee that's all going to happen. Except he's going to play bishop takes. Going to work d5. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, he played yeah. bishop takes pretty quickly. The engine move. All Russians do, yeah. I guess. I guess. Yeah, Kasparov probably does. I do like Kasparov's police biting policy. Yeah, but neither Kasparov nor Ivanchuk are Russian. Oh, sorry. Right, right, right. Dubov. Is that Ken West? 
Right, I thought so, but no, right? I don't know. Unless he changed the name. Doesn't sound like something Ken Westwood type. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Karen had an appointment to get to. But it's okay. If she went to her appointment, she'll come back. Yeah. All Russians and Ivan Chuk. Rook d5 was played. Yeah, this seems like white has pleasure position. Well, queen takes would hang the queen, so so no. Don't want to do that. He might do it. Yeah? No. Okay. <laughs> I was not picked for the jury, but I was there all day. And then I, they said go home. Oh, I'm sleepy, but I still have to stream today and go to karaoke. You have to? I've got to do what i got to do. Yeah. I'll have to take a nap before my stream, I guess. All right, so Fabi's better. Hey, we got some action in this game. Rook e8, knight a4, bishop e4. I like that move. Bishop e4 is good. Yeah, yeah, black's having no trouble this game except with his time. Position's good. Never play f3 because it's illegal. And it loses to bishop takes c2 check. <laughs> Oh, well, even like bishop takes f3 check is good. Yeah, the best is bishop, is bishop a3 check. Unleashing the queen. <laughs> discovered check. Yeah, that's good. Didn't see that one. Yeah, nap during the stream. I can't I can't do it. I'm not grandmasterly enough. I took two naps <laughs> during one stream. That was my favorite stream. I don't know. I'll probably sing like... Two naps, what else? You know, Black Hole Sun or something. It says you're doing Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Yeah, I'm almost done with it. And he's sitting right here. Well, it said last scene. Yeah. You know, they don't see me now. Yeah, Wesley would be good in this tournament. Aronia would be good, etc. How does one have to go to karaoke? <coughs> oh, what? It's Karen. It's probably they're here or something. Oh, they'll be there in 10 or 15 minutes. Which one? All right. Oh, what? They're here. <laughs> they will text when they arrive. Will they te text me or you? No. No, I'll text you. Then me. I will text. Right. Okay. Yeah. We're getting our kitchen redone, which takes like six months. <sighs> and so they're bringing one of the things for the kitchen. I Something am big. excited for Xenoblade 3. Yes. It'll be out in, in just over a month. One month and four days. Yeah, Black's position is perfectly cromulent here. Dogs will prob bark, she said. That's true. Yeah, that will know. Yeah. Yeah. Go you probably have to let them outside. In the the dogs, yeah. Because otherwise do they'll destroy everything. I can do that. Mm -hmm. It's funny, they're going to want to attack the guys, but then if the guys have like the mm -hmm. thing in front on like a cart, they'll be scared of it because it's so big. They'll be like, what is that? Yeah, Gen 9 Pokemon is pretty, uh, looks pretty good. I'm excited about that. Scarlet and Violet. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna come after the World Open and destroy our kitchen. So between, like, July 10th and September 10th, our kitchen will be destroyed. Lechonk, yeah. Yes. Lechonk is the most famous. <laughs> Sometime around my birthday is when they're going to finish the kitchen. It'll be a birthday present. Okay, so this is, Farouja's doing fine. Man, he did play H4. Bam! Man, Jan's good. I think, I think, uh, uh, Magnus should play him. I'm gonna get both Scarlet and Violet, because I have two switches. I mean, A3, B4 seems good to kill these pieces over here, so we can't go to C5, but... Oh, he, now he has he some trouble it, over it here. It seems so good. Yeah, it says bishop yeah. b8's the best move. Because we don't want the knight to come to f4. It's a problem with rig d3, knight f4 gains a tempo. But it's okay. I like small live, too. Small live. After bishop b8, the engine plays c5. He's small and an olive. I mean, this looks like good night rapport. Yeah, this is looking good Bindold. for black. 
Bishops can't true. change colors. Bishop can't change sides. Actually, I think no pieces can change sides. Right? What? Go, da thanks, Danny. <laughs> Good old Danny. Yeah. I don't think so, Jal. But yeah. it was cool that you have a GBA. Yeah, I think Jan at his best is better than the other players at their best. Except totally. probably for Fabi. Or Fabi. Right, Fabi at yeah. his best pretty good. Fabi is never at his best. Yeah, I remember when he... Well, if, seven in a row. Yeah, because yeah, seven, seven, seven people are watching. Right. And also the other tournament, he was like plus eight in Vikonze or whatever. Yeah, he won Vikonze with a lot of... <laughs> he got a lot of points. It's like eight and a half out of 11 or nine out of 13. It was like nine out of, no, 10 yeah, out of 13. It was something crazy. He got yeah. 10 out of 13. It was something that's totally insane. Yeah. That was like two or three years ago, too. It was recent. Bishop B8 played by Rapport. C5 is the best move. H3 is the second best move. H3 is pretty human. I like H3. What, what about human? Yeah, then the king is just bad <laughs> that's for That's a name I can trust. Yeah. <laughs> human. What's, what was wrong with Bishop takes H4? We were analyzing that yeah. for hours. We just analyzed <laughs> that for a long time. They might have just showed up. Oh, okay. Yeah, knight, D, knight f4, knight threatening f4. the rook. Basically, that's then, the deal. Then we want to play queen here, threatening the bishop and mate. And if the rook moves vertically, it also threatens the f-pawn. So the engine was saying this is good for black. This was the main line, was here, here, threatening this and this, here, takes takes queen here threatening this and if it moves away you take this and this but you have to move yeah. it away so it yeah. hurts now we're threatening the b4 pawn if we lose the b4 pawn bishop c5 and you get checkmated anyway this is plus four for black rapport is not going to defend this that's the likelihood yeah, I mean, Jan's playing great, and Jan has way more time. He's an hour ahead on the clock. Yep. It seems like from Magnus's perspective, if Jan wins the tournament and he's winning a lot of games and he's an hour ahead on the clock every game, that's a good opponent. I mean, basically, the reason the match was one-sided is because of that one game. Once Jan lost that game, he, like, gave up. The game where it was yeah. like both sides were winning and drawing and the game was 90 moves. Or maybe it was 100 moves. Yeah. If Jan had won that game, the match would have had a totally different character. And instead, it's like eight hours. Instead, <laughs> Magnus won and then Jan just fell apart the rest of the match. The first six, seven, eight games, it looked like the players were the same strength. But then the last five games, it looked like the players were not the same strength. But maybe Jan can learn from his last match and play better next match. Fabi's already out of it. G6 question mark. It says that move is terrible from Naka. Now he's worse. It just hates the move. It's not because White has something good. It just says that. I mean, it's a pretty anti-positional move mm -hmm. right, in general. Like, yeah. What's the point of it? Yep. No, it weakens the king a lot. <laughs> right. I mean, oh, that's all snap. it does. I don't know. Maybe he had a reason. I just can't figure it out. It doesn't like that move. That's not very knock-alike, not defending the position properly. Yeah, and playing an unnecessary mm -hmm. anti-position. Yeah, don't move, move pawns. Like what, what? Say what? No, I mean, if you just, like, showed up here, you'd think white has a big advantage because white has this great knight against the bad bishop. Maybe he was concerned about white playing h5. Put it in h. And now if h5, g5? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, he, he didn't want h5, Probably. I guess. Yeah. yeah. That must have been it. Even still, this looks worse than allowing h5. No, but this is this is just, he's going to suffer now. Dudu's going to make him suffer. All right, I'll go up in a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could wait for the dogs to bark, but maybe I'll go up and let them out first. Ooh, that's a good idea. Then yeah. they can bark outside. Yeah, yeah, I'll, ju I'll just do that now. Huh? I'll Man, be right back. I ask you to bring me a period, but I don't think there are any. Well, I'll look for one. Just bring me one anyway. And then, if there's more coffee, I could get it. <laughs> no, I, there was no coffee unless more was made. Right. If more's made, I'll have some. I can make some more. Oh, all right. Ugh. Yeah, it's weird there's no press conferences after. They just have these silly interviews. Yeah. 
But yeah, but it's okay. Okay, so Dude is better. Jan is a lot better against uh, Report. Fabi's a lot better. What did he do after Rook D5, Queen E7? He played Bishop C4. That's an excellent move. Yeah, this is just white having a safer king and an extra double pawn. So white's better. And this is equal, but Ding has a lot more time than, than Faruja. Faruja just plays too slowly. He played bishop c3. A position's pretty boring. Nothing's happening. It's about equal. But but Faruja never moves. Faruja's in bad form. He's not himself. He's, I don't know who he is. He's, uh, he's Wesley, so I don't know. He's somebody else. He's just playing too slowly. There's, there's no reason on move 17 to have used an hour and a half like to get this position. Just, it, in several positions, Black had two or three moves that were equal. And he's just thinking forever, like, what do I do? And what, what do I want to do? And then he's not moving. The opposite of, of, of Nepomnishi, who just moves fast and knows what he's doing. It's a confidence issue. He's, it's easy to lose confidence. You're playing people 27, 50 plus, and you're not doing well. So you lose confidence. Easy to do. And when you lose confidence, you don't want to move. Conversely, when you win half your games, like Jan is doing, then you're really confident. I mean, he has all this world championship prep that wasn't used, so he's really good in the opening. All right, knight. It says knight g5 is terrible. Doesn't like that move. But it doesn't like white's move more. It wants to play rook e, e3. That's a weird move because queen f1 is going to be mate soon. It says rook e3. This is the engine line. Takes, rook takes, h3. And black is, you know, king's no good. King g1 running away. What? Wow. It just wants to run away. It says black's like plus two, but lost some of his advantage. But instead of that, he played the other rook to e3. Now the engine says white resigns. It really hates this move. That's a good dog. It says knight takes knight wins and h3 wins. Like plus six, plus seven. Somebody's knocking at the door, and then Spencer will answer it. Well, Spencer's making coffee. Do I want Spencer to answer the door and get our stuff for the kitchen or finish making coffee? Mm -hmm. Tough, tough question. I'm confused why the dogs aren't barking more. The, the guys are here. I heard the knock on the door. And the, the dogs aren't barking insanely. It's weird. But it's okay. Report doesn't have a lot of time on his clock. So. Rook DE3. It's not easy to defend your king when this h pawn's coming, the queen's coming. You have to defend everything. Bishop is sort of in no man's land over here. Yeah, report doesn't look very happy on the video. Okay. Duda played b4. The engine hates the move b4 because of bishop a4. It really hates this move, giving away all of the white squares. That's weird to let him play bishop a4. The engine wanted to play a4 and then b3, killing the bishop. That's the strategical way. a4, b3, the bishop can't go anywhere on the queen side ever. Then play rook e1 later and play on the king side in the center. Thanks, uh, Mina de Pesante. Sorry about mispronouncing your name. I'm not good at that. Um, it really hates this move because bishop a4. Of course, probably 
Uh, Judah was thinking the bishop's not going to move because this pawn's hanging. And eventually I'm going to play a4, b5. And then a4, b5, white's going to be winning if he gets to cheat. Could also play queen b3, putting pressure here and stopping bishop a4. So basically bishop a4 is the only move. If Naka doesn't play bishop a4, he's going to have a really bad position. But after bishop a4, it says he's fine. So I'm assuming knight takes d5 is just bad because I play something like queen e6, you know, somewhere, d6. And I'm threatening this and this. It says it's equal, actually. Queen c5. Oh, because I have this knight check when you take my rook. So queen c5 is equal and queen c4 is equal. Obviously, Naka wouldn't mind an equal position because he's just worse here. After bishop a4, if the rook moves to a random square, then queen c6, then our bishop is just good. Our bishop can probably get to c4 at some point, or even e4 if we're lucky. We have to be pretty lucky. So Naka needs to find bishop a4 in this position. Otherwise, he's just worse. Otherwise, queen b3 is coming, a4 is coming, and the bishop's just no good. Uh, Jan's thinking. King b8 was played by Radjabov. Always play king b8. I can hear the kitchen stuff getting moved in. I wonder if Spencer's making coffee. Hmm. Yeah, this is just white has a safer king. White has an extra doubled pawn. And so white's doing quite well here. I'm surprised Rajabov castle queenside after developing all of his kingside pieces. I thought if he castle queenside, it was because he couldn't castle kingside. You imagine the same position here, this position with black's king on g8, castle kingside. That just seems a lot safer. I don't see how it benefits black to have his king on b8. So this is just bad for Rajabov. Wow, and Faruja did something crazy. I didn't say it was bad. He played bishop takes g2, which is not crazy. And then he played d5. The engine says d5, good job. And did it relatively quickly, too. So he's catching up on time. Yeah, this is just petering out. They're just trading everything. They're going to trade a lot of stuff. Yeah, good play from Ferugia. He did real slow, but he played well. Not too shocking that Ferugia plays well. Yeah, he got d5 in. Yeah, white doesn't want black to play d5. That wasn't what white was hoping for. White had knight on c3, pawn on c4, bishop on g2, queen on d1, making sure black would never play d5. And then he moved his knight off of c3, knight a4, and you traded bishops on g2 and d5. Easy. Not too easy. So black's completely equalized here. Might even want to have black here. Pawn structure might be better. b3 pawn's sort of weak. So good play by Ferruja. Naka's thinking about whether to play bishop a4 or not. Big think by Jan, biggest think of the game. It turns out knight takes e4 and h3 are both plus seven for black. King is no good. There's good and there's no good. It's hard not to play h3 because it just makes the king bad forever. But maybe he doesn't want to give away the g3 square. Let him defend some more. Okay, he did take with the knight. Both ways of taking are terrible. The engine's arguing with itself which move is worse. But he makes the move that doesn't hang his f-pawn with check. Queen f2 is best. Can't play rook 1 e2 because queen f1 may. If you play rook 3 e2, I check and then play h3 and your rooks are just stuck here. H3 is the engine move, pawn H3. 
And then Rook here's the second move. I think if you play Bishop A7, Bishop D6 just wins immediately. Let me find out if I'm right. The engine will know. Bishop D6 is winning and H3 is winning. It likes H3 first. You can't play Rook takes H3 because your Bishop and your Rook are hanging. <laughs> so you have to go here and then Bishop D6. Then you have to go here, and then you lose your bishop. So he can't take on a7. <clears throat> can't play bishop g3, can't play bishop f4. Can't really move your pawns anywhere. This bishop can come into the game this way, or this way. Thanks, pot pick, for the subscription. No, the engine just says black is completely winning here. I mean, you can see the, the big difference is not only the activity, black's queen is perfectly placed, white's rooks are just defending. They're not doing anything active. But more importantly to me is the king's safety. White's king is never safe, ever. The rest of the game, white's king isn't safe. Black's king is always safe. You can't ever attack the black king ever. No matter how bad black plays, his king is safer than white's king. So because of the king's safety and because my queen is active and your rooks are defending, black is just winning. Too active. Caruana played queen d3. Got to play something. Wants to get his rook out. Get that fine gold gun going. Yeah, and this is just unpleasant for black. Black's going to suffer. One of the reasons black is worse, other than the a4 mentioned worse king and down a pawn, is this f pawn. Yeah, f pawn's weak. It's on a white square. My bishop's on a white square. You can never play f6 because you don't want it, and then you give away e6. So your pawn's going to have to be babysat for the next 20 moves. The engine thinks queen d3 is inaccurate and isn't pressing quickly enough. So that black is close to equal now. But yeah, he's got to babysit the F pawn forever. And we have some moves here. He played knight takes c5. One bishop, what else? Queen takes c5, the engine move. Very good. You don't want to take with the knight because bishop takes f6 is annoying. Knight e3. And D takes C4 is good. And the engine says all zeros. Nobody's better. Somebody has to be better. White, white wants to play knife F5. And the dogs really didn't bark very much. I don't understand. Guys come in our house with stuff. Dogs aren't barking. Weird. Or maybe I'm deaf and they were barking loud and I couldn't hear them. Also possible. Okay, Duda, they're showing Duda, so that means that Nakamura moved. Yep, Nakamura played bishop a4. He got his chance. Yeah, b4 was, a, was a, a slight error, at least. Yeah, now the bishops the bishop has all kinds of good squares. instead of Because white shouldn't put his pawns on dark squares. White should have played a4, b3, killing the bishop. You almost always want to put pawns on the same color as your opponent's bishop so it has less scope. It's Spencer. I mean, it's got to be somebody. Mm. That seems too quick for you to make coffee already. Yeah, I made coffee. Wow. And they delivered the thing. Yeah. How come the dogs didn't bark very much? I let them outside. They yeah, but still, lot but still. They did? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't There's hear. Are, are they now. inside now? Yeah, they're inside Okay, now. good. Wow, you did good. I did everything right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was explaining how Duda's no good. So in this position, <laughs> yeah. Duda played B4. Terrible. Uh -huh. Then Bishop A4. Yeah, now black is fine again. Oh, Karen called me. 
Yeah. If she's following me now, I'll take it. Mm-hmm. Hello. Yeah, yeah, everything went fine. She's calling to make sure that he made coffee. Pretty dumb from Duda. Pretty dumb. All right, what happened here? Nothing happened? Wait, what? Oh, that didn't happen. That's a variation. Okay, so in this position, yeah. what's okay? So after h4, Duda played bishop b8, then you left? Yeah. He played knight g5, which wasn't the engine number one move. Now the engine wants to play rook 1 to e3. Man, that looks dangerous. But he played this move, and the engine says, boo, boo. Rook, rook 3, 3. Right. Three, and then, three. then it just says why it's losing. So the idea is... If bishop what? a7, I play h3. Oh, and h3. And your rook, your rook is... And then bishop Pinned. d6, yeah. yeah, so forth. Right, bishop d6. But it's okay. What if I do nothing with white, like right. c5? Right. H still? Put c5 H. I thought made the most sense of the, you know. Now I put I play h3 because you can't take it because your rook's hanging. So rook 3, e2? Correct. By the way, this is the second best move. That's not as good, I thought. Man. But it's okay. Check. Yep. Only legal moves doesn't hang mate. Bishop there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just gonna eventually get in there. But bishop e three is a funny threat because you can't take it because uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. And then this is hanging, and then this is hanging, and then this is hanging. Uh, so you could play like instead of bishop e seven, g six, right? And have the same idea pretty mm -hmm. much. Yep. Yeah. So just get the bishop in and you win. Yep. That rhymes. Yep. Bishop h four wins too because. Anyway, those are good rooks. Nice and active. Except for one thing. Right. Yeah, the king weakness pacifies the rooks. That's why it's bad to have a weak king. You have to defend it. Oh, he played h3. That was an engine move. h3 was number one. I thought it was time to get ill. Yeah. Now bishop e7 was played. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. h3 seems right. Mm-hmm. Bishop yeah. e7 is yeah. good. h3. Bishop e7... With the same maneuvers. It's amazing how bad White's position is. But his two rooks have no activity at all. They're defending each other. F3, H3, F1. No, no activity. They're I just asked Jan what he thought about uh, Kim Kardashian. He said, but okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just something I was thinking about. <laughs> Rook 1, E2. I mean, that is possible here where it wasn't possible before, but... Scared. Wait giving a minute. Up the Can back I check is... and play bishop G5 and you resign? Yeah, giving up the back rank is No, because lot. you resign, because your rook is... Rook's defending each other and I attack one. But it's okay. Yeah, bishop G5's coming and hell's coming with it. The rook has to stop queen F3. The rook has to defend the other rook. Yeah, it's not good. Maybe you just didn't get it, Kingpin. <laughs> he definitely didn't. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, too bad for Rapor. He doesn't have a lot of time in a bad position. I mean, this is. I think it's just clear that Jan would be the favorite against Magnus. That's why Magnus doesn't want to play. <laughs> It's clear. It's yeah, clear. it's pretty clear. Okay, and then Caruana play queen d3. He's slightly better. This pawn's weak. That's hard to yeah, like, yeah. It's hard to like not defend that pawn the rest of the game. Yeah, I mean white's a pawn up. Mm -hmm. And also he's really good control of the white squares. Mm -hmm. This king is a little safer. Still, but, the engine doesn't okay. like it that much. It didn't really, like queen yeah. d3. It wanted to play oh. more incisively, not just like Positionally, boring. Yeah. Oh. yeah, he's playing two positions. And then this was completely equal. He got d5 in. Can you believe that? Look at this position. In this, okay. in this position, yeah, we saw this. You, can, you can never play d5. It can never happen. Except it's for one thing. It's the only move you can never play. Mm -hmm. And then he got it in. And then he took and played d5 and completely mm -hmm. equal. Yeah. But okay. 
BC. It's smart to trade the white square bishops for black because he was going to lose his then dark square bishop. Put it in H. So now he doesn't have the. Oh. Yeah, then he put it in H. Rook A, D8, draw. What, what Ferugia's doing well the last six moves, other than the moves being good, mm -hmm. is he's playing fast. Roller so he's coaster. catching up on time. Yeah, he's just playing great. He's completely equalized against Ding, and his time isn't as bad as it was. It's only a little bad. If I was black in a blitz game, without even thinking, Rook takes e3. Boom shackle. How bad do you think that is? Plus three Not for white? Not too bad. No, I don't no, think that I, No, I think it's bad. Yeah, I think it's bad. I mean, the rooks are going to be pretty good. I'm yeah. going to say plus three. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, only, only, only plus 1.4, yeah. yeah so well, maybe he will do it. Ooh. I mean, it no. seems like the rooks are good, yeah. But okay. 1.7, and truth hurts. I'll probably rise it on up. 1.9, maybe I was right. You maybe think I Vincent right. Kamer will get better? No. <laughs> I mean, yeah. He you won't. know who didn't get better? Tell me. Wei Yi. He's still pretty high rated. Right, right he's only like 21 too. Yeah, he's still but got chance. He's been the same rating for four years. Right. Well, when he was 2,500, then he got better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> then when he was 2,700, he didn't get as better. Yeah, he's been like 2,700 to 2,740 for four years. But he's like a kid. He was like 17, 18. Yeah. He's like Ferugia. Right, right. Maybe Ferugia's not going to get better. Maybe 2,800, that's it. <laughs> maybe there's no 2,830 in his future. Well, maybe. Rick AD8 was good. played. <laughs> You know, either way. But I think Ferrucia will eventually be world champion, yeah. It seems like it. You mean like in after this tournament? Oh, oh snap. Maybe. Could still come in second. Not sure how. All right, what if Ferrucia does come in second? Then Magnus is like, what? Somebody else gets to play Ferrucia. Right, <laughs> yeah. You know, Nepo or whatever. <laughs> Ben, you said Ferrugia was no good. That's right. <laughs> also, Naka said Report was no good. All these things happen. I have not played uh, <clears throat> Pokemon ROM hacks, no. That's all that Yabba is uh, chatting. Is yeah, yeah. Players are saying other players Player are no A good. said Player B was bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah Nepomnishi is winning, yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you'd have to play uh, with the with the emulator, right? Is that that's how you do a ROM hack? I don't even know. Wait, what? Yeah, exactly. I, don't, I mean, honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> ben, you said Joe Bama is no good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about Joe Bava? He's good. Yeah. Well, he's not as good as he used to be. Man, he went from twenty-seven twenty-five to twenty-five eighty. Damn, harsh. Yeah. And he was like in his twenties when he did it. <laughs> not, yeah. not like me. I went. I did the same thing, but, you know, 50. 50 years old, I can't jump, kick, or jump. I can stretch. All right, so the engine says this is nothing for anybody. Naka played perfectly with bishop a4 and queen c6. Seems right. How yeah, come now, it doesn't like the advantage anymore? No, now, the, now b4 is terrible. Yeah, now the bishop gets in. He could have played a4, b3. Why are these guys playing so anti position Then he could have played b3 and the bishop's dead. What would Karpov say about this? Yeah, he wouldn't like b4, no. Karpov. He'd be like, come on, I'm Karpov. Grunge Wart. He'd be like, go Putin. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thanks, Grunge Wart. Joe Bava's trying to hit 2600. Oh, oh snap. snap. <laughs> I drove past VJ Park last week. No, no, anything but that. <laughs> Joe Bob is trying to hit 2,500, yeah. I wish I was 2,500 again. Those were the days. Yeah, this went from white having a nice positional advantage to just equal. Oh, they made a move or two. Game, yeah, I thought he could just back it up, right? Back, Do nothing. Back that ass up, because, you know, good butt. Right. <laughs> yeah. But okay. It's at least okay. <laughs> 
Uh-huh. Yeah, the engine likes likes the cut of Nepo's jib. So rook three, e2, queen d3. No, no, queen c3. So you can't play rook h2. But you could play king h2. But I like king's queen Yeah, but I'm going to take on a3 and take everything. Yeah, so rook, so you agree with queen c3 precision move. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Because queen d3 is C also crushing. C4 yeah. is also hanging. I, know yeah, I forgot it. c4. I don't even know which pawn to take. <laughs> yeah. All I know is this, this is bad. weak, this is yeah. weak, this is weak, this is weak, and the king's no good. Yeah, he needed to have all his pawns safer yeah. and his king safer. Yeah, this wasn't Rapport's best decision, but it's good that right. he did it for us. So the spectators get to see what's going on. How winning is this? What does this say? Minus seven? Yes. So he's almost a queen up with black, which makes sense because he has a queen and the other mm -hmm. guy doesn't. Yeah. So, you know, it's like a queen up. Yeah, the engine lines are black just taking all the pawns. A3, C4, E4. White's rooks are shallow and pedantic. Looks like this game is a wrap. Yeah. It, you know, it will be Zugzwang soon, huh? Mm-hmm. He has an hour on the clock, five minutes for white. But it is move 37. Right, right. That's the least of Rapport's problems, but it's still a problem. Whoa, the game got crazy. So we saw it didn't like queen... Queen b4, that's D3, good. Three, then queen b4 is good, that's good. Knight d4 it wasn't a fan of. I, I wanted to play like knight it. a5. But okay. He's trying to win the d-file with that move. Yeah, but knight a5. Why is that better? What do you do? What, but why is that better than knight d4? Nobody knows. Knight d4, queen e4, pinning the knight. That's why it's better. Also queen c4. That's another move allowed yeah, because, that wouldn't be allowed right. with knight a5. Yeah, knight a5. Then wow. You, yeah, then it says I would just think a, knight d4 is a better version right. than knight a5. But, but knight a5 is a better version. Yeah, as it turns out. But okay. Yeah, because he's not. he doesn't want to move his bishop anyway after knight a5. C4. Yeah, this endgame after queen c4 take take, is, as I was pointing out, this pawn's no good. Still drawing chances for black. Fabi's got 25 minutes to make 21 moves, so that's not good. Mariotti Day, how's it going? And then... Well, the rooks were the least of his problems, really. He needs his king and pawns to be safer. Then then he'll be then he would have been alright. Yeah, it wants Ferruja to play F five as soon as possible. Knight E four F five. Knight E four F five. I like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, but I mean Ferruja could seize the initiative. Yeah, Ding will let you do that. Like seize the initiative. Then rook E six, rook H six, and then it's like Ding versus Nepo. Mm-hmm. From the first round. All right, so Black has no trouble at all in Ferruja's game, and he's catching up on time. Naka's no trouble anymore because B4 was a mistake. Oh, come on. And now Naka's caught up Duda. on time. Yeah, the bishop, that white bishop isn't bad anymore. Right. Yep, this should just be a draw. Draw. He did play rook three, mm -hmm. and then he didn't play queen c3, as recommended by me, but mm -hmm. queen d3, which is also great. Because, like you said, well, c4 the is engine says rook e3 is the best move. Hanging the exchange? Yeah. I mean, he's probably going to defend h2 somehow. like. h3? Yeah, I'm, well, I might kill yeah, the king h2. Right? But then queen g3 check. It didn't help, you know. No. I mean, honestly, he could just resign. Really? I mean, he only has three minutes, though. Yeah, he can't resign with three oh. minutes. Wait, he played bishop e3. Mm -hmm. But okay. That bishop makes F6, a lot of sense. Bishop f6 is the engine move. Played him instantly. Oh, he didn't even take the pawn check. Mm -mm. Yeah, why this, would you do that? This That's is better. Opening up the rooks, right? Now, you can't move the bishop, and then all your pawns are hanging. This is, this is... Is this Zugzwang yet? I mean, it's almost Zugzwang. It's really almost Zugzwang. And he could always move his second, uh, the second rank rook. He could move that. I never saw a guy with so many weak pawns. Terrible. Right. Was he me? Yeah, they're all weak. 
But it's okay. Yeah, resigns might be the best move. Yeah, he won't resign. All right, he'll probably get. It's move forty time. coming up. Yeah, I might as well play till then. Doesn't really hurt. I mean, if a guy's winning with black and an hour up on the clock and winning the tournament, winning more than half his games, I'm not sure why Magnus wouldn't play him. Yeah, that guy's pretty good. Yeah, that guy's pretty good. I mean, he didn't. If the guy wins the, the candidates, match, then he wins yeah. the candidates next time. Maybe that's a reasonable opponent. Yeah. Knight mm -hmm. d4, but it's okay. So yeah, Fabio's getting in time trouble. Will he play one of those moves? Yeah, he is. Fabio has to make 21 moves in 21 minutes with no increment or delay. So, got to play fast the rest of the game. Yeah, these are the two moves. I mean, I would play queen c4 because I don't have any time on my clock. So let's trade queens so I can play faster. He's not thinking that way, but that's the way I think. And then this is fine for black. He's even catching up on time for Ruja. This is fine for black. I ask it every round. Would people have an advantage like 0.5 or 1 or somewhere in there? And then the game ends in a draw. Is it because they're not pressing correctly or their opponent just defends perfectly? It always seems like it's a little of both. It seems like when those positions occur, the person who's better doesn't is impressing right, and that's why Magnus is good. When Magnus yeah. is plus point five, He's he presses that, correctly. Yeah. Two hundred B four. No, I agree, uh, Fen Bangle. I think he underestimated Bishop A four, but I agree. B four is a strange yeah, move. Like, what is the intention of B four? No, but 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 it's okay. It, it, <laughs> no, but after B four, if you don't play Bishop A four, then I can A4. play A four or I can play Queen B three. No, that's fine. So he's expanding B, on the B4 queen side is good simply. if you don't play bishop a4. If I you play bishop a4, it's no good. Right. So he found it. Yeah, b4 is just a bad move. Sometimes you play bad. This is why Magnus always beats all these guys. He doesn't do stu dumb, dumb stuff uh, like computer that. Computer evaluation doesn't mean anything like always. You know, 0.5 could mean that there's nothing to do, but the engine likes, right. likes it. Mm -hmm. But it could be that you're better and you can keep pressing and continuing. All right, what happened here? He got counterplay by, by, by taking on a7. Gave that up. Plus 10. Uh, it's, it's, it would be better if it was, Oh, it actually is. 999. Mm -hmm. 9.99. 9 <laughs> he figured he'll get some counterplay with his past a pawn. <laughs> yeah, right. I've been complaining the whole game to you guys who were like, I like rooks better than queen. That white's king is no good and black's king is good, and now we're seeing it oh, come to fruition. Nine ninety nine. Yay! Bits. No, no, no. What I meant was he's plus a million. <laughs> right. Go so queen g three check. Now you can't play rook g two. Oh, now he has an hour, so he can resign finally. Mm hmm. He made the time control. Yeah. Because yep. if you move the king, it just, I don't know, h3 maybe. Then h2. Where, do you, where do you want to move the king? I don't know. I have an engine, so I can win immediately. Okay, okay let's h1, go here. Probably. Yeah, I don't want you to play h3, h2, Queen h1. Queen f3. Uh-huh. Well, okay. But it's okay. Winning immediately with this. Wait, yeah. Wait? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So rook f2, queen g3 check, then rook g2, queen e1. Mm -hmm. So now you lost material. The end. But it's okay. Yeah. Damn. Still well, losing material. Yeah. B5 is the best move? Hanging the bishop? No, oh, anyways. What? Oh, well, because you lose your C point otherwise. That's even worse. Damn. But it's okay. Yeah. I just got a text from Lenny Kravitz. He said it's over. Man, harsh. Anybody? No? There's so many songs, like, you know. It ain't over till it's over. I didn't know that was Lenny. Mm hmm I was thinking that when he said it. There's also a great Alice in Chains song called It's Over Now. Mm -hmm. Or da, Over da, Now. Da, 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 da. Yeah, da, it's da, over da, now. Da, da. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's it. But do you pay your bills on time? 
Yeah, does he say on time or sometimes? I never knew. I never looked it up. Maybe he says both, you know. We pay Mm -hmm. our... It's our debts. We pay our debts on time. Ah. Or sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Alice in Chains is way better (laughs) than Kravitz. That's true. You know American Woman's a cover, right? I hope they do that. Classic song, yeah. Don't come hanging around my it's door. Now. She'll be uh, she'll be back soon, Karen. Will maybe in an hour. Or <laughs> Did so. he text you from Miami Beach? That was good. He must have got that news about being Jewish early. <laughs> oh yeah, it's about guess who, mm-hmm. right? Or it's by guess who. Mm-hmm. That's the name of the band. And you don't have to guess. Yeah. <laughs> That's just how it is. No, Karen was in St. Louis because her and her son play chess. And they were at a math camp at Washington University with Holden. And they looked for a chess club and they happened to be in St. Louis. So that is the chess club. I which is he's still moving. like three miles from uh, St. Louis, uh, from uh, Washington University. So that's where we met. Come on, rapport. The best move, this isn't a joke, Bishop B8 hanging the bishop. That's number one. <laughs> That's not a good number one move. <laughs> he was number one. Yep, this is getting embarrassing. Yeah, he played you know. H6, H5, H4, H3. Good plan. That is a good plan. Is Nepo not leaving the board to wait for him to resign? Good technique. Right. Yeah, yeah. Would an 1800 win this against Rapor? No. No. 1800 no lose with either side. Oh, snap. Especially white. Uh-huh. Fan buying gold. And 1800 might win the black. Because, you That's know. Pretty, eight, I mean, he H- already played H3. H- <laughs> H- yeah. H2's coming, and hell's coming with it. Yeah, it is getting to that point. It's getting Ooh. to the point where an 1800 would win in this position. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty bad position <laughs> at that point. In the press conference, report's going to say, I resigned because I realized an 1800 would beat me in this position. <laughs> <laughs> I went to he would say that. and saw Lenny on a cologne advertisement. Mm-hmm. It does not announce mate. It's only like minus twelve or so. Yeah. Bishop G one. I was thinking about that, but uh, every move looked really good. Uh, oh, we did do it. Bishop G one X clam. Yeah, muscle. I was thinking about that move, but it looks like everything's but, but good. okay. Bishop H four is plus fourteen. That was the one I liked the most because then you're threatening Queen F three check, which is pretty. Here's strong. my favorite line. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, snap. Like I like Bishop H2. Bishop takes queen F2. I and like Rook H2 takes a lot. queen E1. I like H2 a lot. God damn. Yeah, that's nice. Anyways, he won't play Rook F2 there anyway. He would play Bishop H. Yeah, yeah losing the Rook. Yeah. Rook F2 is the best move. Bishop A7 is the second best. He'll play Bishop H4 for sure. Then resigns. Yeah. But okay. Surprising he's not resigned already, honestly. Okay, Bishop H4 resigns will be a good finish. There's no way Nepo won't win this. But he said there was yeah. no way. Thank you, Zumer. Also winning immediately is Bishop C3. Because the engine says plus 22. They'll play Bishop H4. Yeah. <clears throat> he has two hours on his clock. <laughs> to win this position. More time than he started He with. did play it. Bishop H4. Now, do we guarantee resigns, or we super guarantee it? I don't know. I would have said he'd resign a couple of moves ago. No, now he'll resign. It's tough to move, yeah. Mm-hmm. But okay. Man, the report doesn't look too happy. He's like, I drew every game. What happened? Why did Judah have to lose yesterday? If I told you before the tournament, I predict after seven rounds, Nepo's plus four. 
You would say, like, uh, what? Unlikely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But okay. And deserves to be plus four. Totally. And he's been playing the best, really. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Fabi's been, like, really solid. Fabi could be plus three if he wins. Like, Napo's playing more ambitiously and and aggressively. And and even though he's in bad positions, he saves them. So he's getting rewarded when he's in good positions. Mm -hmm. Where Fabi's just, like, playing good, you know, the whole time. Resigns. Yep, he resigned. Yeah, he resigned officially. Mm-hmm. GG. Yeah, it's I, crazy that he didn't play the the repetition and instead played mm-hmm. something bad on purpose. They're discussing. Lost. Reports like, but okay. Reports pretty nicely dressed, though. Mm-hmm. I like his uh, jacket-shirt combo there. So you think cutting off the man bun, that's what did it? Like it looks really nice on him. Mm-hmm. Cutting off the man bun made him better. I guess. A reverse Samson. Man, he's crushing it. Yeah, yeah. He, he has more time than he started with. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't see that one. Yeah, with no increment. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. And it's still true. Yeah, yeah, one time, although there was increment, one time there was oh, a yeah. game Salov was playing Anand. And they were playing 25 minute, 10 second increment. Mm-hmm. And, and Anand won in like 24 moves. And when the game ended, Anand had 28 minutes left. Yeah. That's a lot of minutes. <laughs> he started with 25. It was a 10 second increment. So he really just didn't think at all and beat Salov. Well, it's, uh, what do you think? A different game that's still going? We could just look at this. <laughs> so Jan won against Rapport. That means Duda's going to draw. Queen C5 played by Duda. La da 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 dee da da. Duda. Duda. It says every move is equal. And Naka has more time now. <laughs> that is true endeavoring to learn, but it What's can't that? be allowed. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so Queen C4 check. Uh, Queen C4 not check. Queen takes C4, Bishop takes C4. And white is clearly slightly better. Or maybe he's slightly clearly better. Yeah, it's very important that this pawn is tough to defend. Yep. That's annoying. But if maybe only, he can bail out to an opposite color if, bishop. If only he had castled kingside. Mm-hmm. Why are you guys rooting for anyone? Well, this round I was rooting for Duda. La da 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 dee da da do da do da. All right, let's see what happened here. More trading. He played queen c2, getting off of this line with the rook. Knight e4, rook d1. Take, take. Free pawn or no? For whom? Oh, this pawn? Bam. Rook d2 winning resigns. I can't just move my queen away? Rook here resigns. Oh, oh okay. Doubling up on the mm-hmm. bubble up. You have to go here now, it says. Oh, just second exchange, though. And then we're still pinned. King so. f8. Yeah. Okay, but king e7. We're still pinned eternally. Here, though. because of b6, I take it. <laughs> yeah. And we're still eternally pinned even mm-hmm. here. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it resigns. After this, the engine says here, instead of taking on b6. Provoking. B6. Yeah, you take on b6, you take king e7, c4 is hanging. It's still winning. It's still winning. Yeah. yeah. Or even rook g8 or something, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ali Reza chances in this game. I mean, Looks like a draw. Some, but no, just <laughs> pretty, pretty Did low. the guys come back for the oven stuff? All right, all right. Woof, woof, woof. Woof, woof. Two coffees, one for each of me. Now, this is pretty equal. All right, it's theoretically possible to win, but not bloody likely. Okay, so Naka traded all the rooks except for the ones he didn't trade. Yeah, black is okay. Yeah, I mean, I still like white, but black's rook is so good now. Even if in a queen trade, it's not so bad of an endgame. Yeah, this will be a draw. This is going to be Fabi squeezing for 30 moves. This is move 21. Fabi has to make 19 moves in 19 minutes. 
But, you know, it doesn't look too tough. Looks like he can do it. Yeah. Always play bishop f1. Even if the engine says bishop d3 slightly better. Bishop, bishop f1. And is anybody in time trouble here? Move 25, Ferugia has 18 minutes. That's not bad. That's better than it was 10 moves ago. Five and a half out of seven is a pretty good score. Is that what he has? I Damn. guess. Damn. That's what the chat said. Three and a half plus four is five and a half. Yeah. It's like 100 tacos for $100. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is I true. could use that right about now. So we have two draws likely. Ding Ferugia, Duda Nakamura, and then this game, I don't know if it's more likely Fabi wins or a draw. Opinion? Uh, what does the engine say? Point well, nine. Oh, that's Ooh. close. Man, tough. I don't know, I guess draw. Rajabov's a pretty good defender, and mm -hmm. it's opposite color bishops. But Fabi. I do like Fabi. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. They, tr they did some stuff here in this game. Uh, I wish this dog's just shot up. Oh, Yay, Grandmaster, Grandmaster Gowry. Thank you for the raid. The Raiders. By the way, yesterday, Canty beat uh, Lawrence Trent, and I'm not a GM. So Canty Rosen's the final. Where's raid? There should be two raid things. But I remember there was the pink one. and it... Yeah, there should be a couple. Look, it's not, right? Hmm. Wow. They're there somewhere. No, no, you, you're fibbing. I give up. <laughs> oh, yeah, spoiler alert. <laughs> spoiler alert. But it happened yesterday. All right, come on. You don't know that by now? Mm hmm. Hey, we already made that joke. Mm hmm. About uh, no increment. B and such. B he played BC as opposed to BCE. I don't know. I, I kind of like white a lot here. Unless he loses his A pod for yeah, nothing. Bishop C6 draw. Doodle. Thanks, Solitary Bishop. You're the best. Solitary Bishop. You're the best. Move around. <laughs> I like white unless he loses his pawn. Then you don't like white. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Naka's not going to lose this. He's not Naka for nothing. Yeah. Why is he Naka? Hey, we have 990 viewers. We only need 999 and we're all set. 999. And we can get a good donation from, uh, who was it? Fen Fen Bangold. Bangold, yeah. yeah. Fabi catching up on time. He did play Bishop D3. I mean, the A pawn's not going to be safer if you play D takes. Like it's, it, In it's, this game? Yeah, it's the same A pawn either the way. The same deviled egg. Yeah, yeah, the fact that it's isolated is just, you know, you know, that it's irrelevant. Whether the pawn's on B4 or not. B swizzle with nine bits. Yay! What happened here? Queen B2. And now the move you didn't expect. Mm -hmm. B5. Rook B8 is the engine move. B5. The idea is taking Rook B8, I guess. Well, the queen's here, oh, too. Oh, yeah. Just so it. we're good. Normal. It says Rook takes is equal and Rook D3 is equal. Mm. And I guess other moves are, too. Right. I'm trying to figure out if I'd rather have white or black here. I, I, I guess like the pass pawn. white because I like four oh. against three and my knight has F5. I'll take the pass pawn. Yeah. Yeah. The time situation is not really treacherous anymore. Slightly worse on time. Danny is interviewing Jan. Jan's like, but okay, I win every game. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I win with black. Yeah, four, and you won with black in yeah. round one. Damn. Two wins with white, two wins with black. And they've only played three games. Hmm. Yeah, Naka's pretty good. He even won a game. Naka loves that bishop on c6. A lot of people in this tournament have not won a game. That's correct. 
Ding hasn't. Faruja hasn't. Rajabov hasn't. Duda. Right. Duda hasn't. And, and Report hasn't. Five of the eight players haven't won a game. <laughs> yeah. Only Naka, Fabi, and Jan have won a game. That's crazy. America. Am I actually right? What? I think that is right. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, only three have. Wow. Says the chat. America. Yeah. Both Americans we win. won a game. Both Americans won a game when round two was over. Stop the count. That's what we do in America. Mm -hmm. If we stop the count, it looks good for Jan. <laughs> yeah, that's Fabi's like, don't stop the count. <laughs> And they keep finding wins for Jan. It's like they, they put this th machine there and Jan wins again. It's <laughs> right. They keep and, finding and then, more and then wins. Fabi wins, but then it changes the win to a Jan win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, America is one of the best countries even in the continent in America. of America. <laughs> right. We're one of the top 10 or 15 countries in North America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, abortions for some, miniature American flags for, for others. others. <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah, I heard about the Italian satellites. That was a good one. Yeah, the engine says all zeros. What is the best J-Lo song? God, that's a mm. tough one. Jenny from the Block? Ooh. That's a good one. It's just the first one I thought of. I can't even think of another one. <laughs> I can't even think of another one, so I'll go with that one. Wait, is she to the left? Is that her? No, that's Beyonce. Ah, dang Or, it. you know, that group. What group was she in? Something, I think something. it's just Beyonce, though. No, but it's two names. Right, it's right. Something, no, but something. I mean, I think that that song was just Beyonce. Really? I thought it was the group, but I don't know. Oh, Genie in a Bottle is her? Mm -hmm. No. G no, right? No, Genie in the Bottle is not her. Destiny's Child. Right. That's that's this, this. Genie in a Bottle is that woman. Yeah. What's that woman's name? I didn't think that was her. All right. I know her I name, know, but I can't yeah. think of her. <clears throat> Somebody, come on. That's all. That's the only thing you guys know is terrible music. Yeah, yeah. We're right in your wheelhouse Yeah, come on. Yeah, Christina Aguilera. Oh, there's, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the 20 answers. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, I used to confuse Christina Aguilera and uh, Britney Spears. I didn't know who was worse. Probably Britney's worse. Right. Yeah. My favorite Zeppelin song is probably In the Light. That's you told me one. it used to be that uh, Hangman. Avenetti, 2020. What's it called? Not Hangman. 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 Gallows hang Pole. Gallows Pole. That's a good one. Hmm? They're both worse. Damn. When the Levy Breaks is awesome. Mm -hmm. they, they mean Levy, the chess player. All right, all right. No quarter is lit. Yeah, no quarter is a good one. <laughs> it's pretty lit. It's not by the band lit, though. Does anybody in the chat know more about Led Zeppelin than you? I don't know. Probably Grungewort knows a bit. <clears throat> really? With a name like Grungewort. Yeah. Yeah. I do love No Quarter. I don't know about Rhodes, though. Achilles Last Stand is an underrated one, <clears throat> but <clears throat> still not as good as the other ones mentioned. I love Battle of Evermore. That's a good, that, that one definitely used to be one of my favorites, Battle of Evermore. That's a great one. When I Am Levy Breaks, Rosen's going to win. Yeah. Dancing Days is a good one, too. That's a little which, bit. Yeah, which, which Dancing Days? <laughs> Stone Temple Pilots. Yeah. There's a third one too that's by another group. That's a, that's, yeah, you told me about that. I that's that's a different it. song. It's not it's not a cover. Oh, it's oh, its oh. own song. It's oh, by oh, I think oh. Wang Chung. Yeah. Okay. It is. It is by Wang Chung. Yeah. And yeah, our days. Dire Maker is great. Oh, days. These are good songs. Misty Mountain Hop, Immigrant Song. Yeah, definitely. Since I've been loving you, awesome songs. Thanks, Evan Eddy. Thanks for subscribing. 2020. Is that guy in jail? Yeah, I was thinking that. <laughs> Black Dog. Yeah, Black Dog's good. Oh, yeah, Kaidenov's favorite, right? Good old mm -hmm. Kaidenov. Yeah, Cashmere, that, that definitely used to be one of my favorites. We had a cat named Cashmere. Mm -hmm. 
All right, Cashmere is a big one. Animals album. That's Pink Floyd, though, right? Great album. Do you know more songs by Led Zeppelin or Radiohead? Hmm. Well, whichever one has more songs. <laughs> Whoever has more songs, that's the one. Yeah. Know. Ten years gone, holding on. Yeah, that is a good one. Yeah, nobody said Stairway to Heaven. I like that. <laughs> nobody said that. Stairway to 2800. But what are you going to do? You've heard it too many times. You can't think it's the best mm -hmm. anymore. It's impossible. Moby Dick's a good one. I, there's a very long drum solo in the middle. Um, the best Radiohead album is definitely In Rainbows. Unless it's OK Computer. <laughs> okay, but okay, computer. Yeah, but okay, computer. <laughs> I, know, I guess I, I like In Rainbows more. Okay, so nobody's moving in this game. A couple moves here. Play a knight c6, mm -hmm. bishop e4, but okay, nothing's happening. Okay, he caught up on time, Fabi. Now both sides have no time. Right, right. Good, good. Huh. And then this game... Oh, they did move. G4. God damn. Yeah, he wants to win the B pawn, huh? God damn. Queen C5, and they traded queens. I guess that makes sense if you play G4, mm -hmm. you like to trade queens, huh? Mm-hmm. So the engine says rook B1, knight D5, handshake. Makes sense? Yeah. Also, it says rook takes rook, rook takes rook, rook B1, knight D5, handshake. Mm -hmm. Then if rook takes, knight takes, and doesn't say that white's even better with his four versus three. Terrible. But okay, handshake. All right, so Faruja is going to draw with Ding. Due to Nakamura is almost certainly going to be a draw. Where is and that confounded? Fabi's 50 50 to win, mm -hmm. they played F3. Did somebody see the bridge? Yeah, the engine said F3 is the right move. What? Even though never play it? Mm hmm. It doesn't know that, I guess. It saves the bishop. I'm trying to figure out whether I think it'll be a draw or he'll win, and I don't know. It's like 50 50. Draw. I think draw is more likely than he'll win, like 53%. Yeah. Like if it was, if I was in court on jury duty and it was um, a civil case and I needed the preponderance of evidence, I would vote white wins over draw. Hmm. <clears throat> About 53%. What were you just on jury duty or something? Yeah. Rookie seven, the engine says boo, boo. Protecting it your pawn. It really pond. hates rookie That's seven. That's true. It says it's winning now. Yeah, it really like hates two it. It says rook a d1, and, but okay. I guess, I guess Rajabov heard about my jury duty. <laughs> duty. Still, I mean, what what's the point or the problem? Like, what does white do that's so bad for black? Yeah, that's crazy that it changed so much. I don't know. I, I, what if I just hunker down, you know, rook c, c7, mm -hmm. and so on? Well. I don't really think it's losing. Yeah, but 1.7 means it thinks it's winning. 1.9. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah, it's it thinks it's winning, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe Fabi can do some, like, bishop takes c6 idea. You know, moving his rook away. And... G4, f4, g5, Papa John's. Losing the, good bishop idea. On e Losing the bishop on e4. All right, bishop c3, yeah. Well, you can prepare it. Mm-hmm. That really hates rook e7. Shocking. That'd be funny if Jan wins and Fabi wins, because every round Jan wins and Fabi wins, and nobody else ever wins. Yeah. Well, I don't know that Nock is proving that. It seems like he's just around everybody else except Nepo and and, and Fabi. Like those guys are proven. proven I mean, something. saving that saying that Nock is top ten isn't really crazy. Yeah, it's top five is a little crazy. Right. But not yeah, top, I could probably name ten. five people stronger than Nock. Top ten's fair. Yeah, top ten's normal. I mean, at one point he was rated number two in the world. Mm -hmm. So he's not as good as Anand, but he's trying. Oh, snap. Yeah. Um, nothing happened. Stuff ah, here happened here. Just one move. Just rookie one, two. Yeah. No, rook A1 rook or rook D1. D1. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like rook D1, yeah. And what is it going to be it after says rook D1? 96. 
Bishop here, king oh, here. Wait, 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 96, I you know, I would play rook d3. That's okay. And then I win a pawn. Oh, rook e3. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Rook e3 is good. Hmm. After 96, it wants to walk the king up. Walk that king up. Wrap that gavel up. Mm hmm. Naka's rated ninth, according to the chat. That's believable. Oh, yeah. Carlson, Nepo, Fabi, Ding, and Eric Rosen are stronger. Mm hmm. <laughs> and maybe Levy. Maybe. And Lawrence Trent. I mean, yeah, So is definitely stronger, right? Like, like pretty definitely. So's pretty good. Yeah. Levon, like, it depends, you know. Levon's pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty good. <laughs> Naka's top nine in the U.S. <laughs> right, right. Dominguez's pretty good. Right, yeah, Dominguez, come on. Shanklin, ridiculous. <laughs> That's true. Jeffrey Shong. MVL's pretty good, too. Mm -hmm. I think MVL would have, like, a decent chance to beat Magnus. Not too decent. No, I mean, he's beaten him over the board, you yeah, know, but a talked, few times. I talked to Naka, he said decent. Yeah. Okay, they made some moves. Rook takes, Rook B1. Knight D5 is all zeros according to the engine. Yeah. Ferruja played Rook B8. Playing for the win. Mm -hmm. Rook B4 draw. I don't know. I think that black's just a little better. But He's a draw. Yeah, I guess not, huh? Yeah, he played Rook B4. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. I do think, yes, Mountain Dude. Ooh, look at all these things on my phone. It's oh, notification. Like, like Kamala Harris. <clears throat> what she, did she do? She said, give money because the Supreme Court sucks. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. that. Mm. Good old Supreme Court. It's weird that the dude who tried to overthrow the government, he appointed a third of the Supreme Court. It's, it's kind of crazy. If you think about it, you know. Well, the the heat, Mountain Dew, the, the heat of the moment <laughs> really did. Man, the internet's good when it's hardwired. Yeah, yeah. I saw it because sometimes it, we were dropping a little, but then mm -hmm. it was always saw. Oh, like right now. <laughs> hey, that's funny yeah, that yeah. you said that. I wonder if my internet is <laughs> also bad. No, it's already yeah. all right, yeah. I shaved my head, but I'm not sad. Nothing crazier than MTG. That's, uh, that's what about Bobert? They're they're close. Those, those are like probably the two craziest time. Huh? Yeah, Cruz is crazy. Ted oh, Cruz. Ted, oh, well, he's. I mean, come on. You know, come on. <laughs> Ooh, trying to learn is gonna be at the World Open. Good, good. Okay, ninety eight was played. D5, Papa John's. Digitally screaming is pretty fun. And digital style. Uh-oh, look at this move. Oh. Never play it. F6, now white wins. White's point zero six up now. Yeah, this is just draw. Nobody can do anything. Speaking of draw, nobody can do anything. Rig D1, 96. So this is white's idea. Yeah, I still like white. I'm always taking white. The engine <clears> says know. bishop d7, king f3, takes, takes, oh. takes, draw. I don't, I don't really like white there. Bishop d7's right, because then it's all mm -hmm. falling apart there. Yeah. He's the draw. 
Why not combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell break on through? Come on. He did play Rick AD1. Fabi's almost caught up on time, because his time situation was a little suspicious. Duda can beat Naka, but probably draw there. Hey, my thing went, went no good. Oh, no. I'm spinning. What about OBS? What does that say? It says you're doing great, pal. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I'm still happy. Dropping these frames. Am I? Well, it's 21, red. It's red. 21,000 frames. Jesus Christ. Yeah, quit dropping thousands of frames, mm -hmm. <laughs> OBS. Oops. Clicked on the wrong thing. Now the stream's broken. I mean, I was just saying how great the hardwire was, and then it like Yeah, that looks what happened. It mm -hmm. was a jinx. Yep. It's still only 3%, but that's too many. It should say drop frame zero. All right. The dog barking made the internet stop working. Mm-hmm. How much can I deadlift? I don't know. Five pounds. Man, Karen's talking about no rights if a yeah, spoon yeah. eats an egg in my body. She had a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, mm -hmm. not exactly hot takes. <laughs> Agreeable takes. Uh, one tweet that I saw that was funny was maybe the Constitution is not so good after all. It is true. It was written hundreds yeah. of years ago. Maybe they should revamp it, make it cooler, right. put yeah, out some nice paper, different kind of font. It's written, written by a bunch of racists. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> you know, I don't know. And they did some good things, but. We are hardwired. Our Internet's the fastest, except sometimes our Internet company likes to take it away. <laughs> yeah, come on. <clears throat> Yeah, we are hardwired. Now the engine's saying 1.82. That's a pretty high evaluation. It's like I'm solid here in the center of it. An extra pawn actually looks like it does something. Yeah, why are Russian players allowed to win? Shouldn't be allowed. Is Jan the only Russian player? I guess so. In this tournament. Yeah. All right, this is equal. Oh, he played a different. Playing for the win, knight d8. I like it. The engine says bishop c6 is equal and rook takes d4 is equal. And certainly he'll take d4, you know. Hopefully these drop frames will quit. Mm -hmm. Quit dropping. Yeah, Comic Sans Constitution. Mm -hmm. Then I would, I mean, I'd have a laugh while I read it, you know. Yeah, but dude is trying hard to win. He's going hard, hard in the paint. What's he thanking? Let's see. Am I still dropping frames? It stopped moving. Oh yeah, it looks the good. The number stops. Yeah, and look, it's green. You can Green's tell if it's good. red that it's scared, mm -hmm. but green yeah. it means go. All right. Probably because the dogs were barking, so the internet got scared. Yeah, it's like come on. Yeah, he's rushing to play Magnus yeah. again. That's a good one. That's Together. a good one. Jan will move to USA soon. Which Jan? I don't know. Christoph Duda? He should. Simon? Man, Timon oh, yeah, used to Tim be good. Tim Eon. Timon used to be good. Man. Yeah, good old Tim Tim Eon. He was good in the eighties. Eon, Tim Eon. And early nineties. Timon played a world championship match with Karpov. Wow. When there was the fake world champions. Hmm. Yeah, Karpov was winning world championship matches when they Yeah, I knew about that. When they told him, you know, Kasparov wasn't the champ anymore. No assassin assassination. No assassination talk on our stream. Yeah, no matter how deserved. This is a family stream. My girlfriend just broke up with me, but I'm hoping it can get better soon. Soon, mm. soon. I don't know, I kinda think Napa will win the tournament. 
No, he seems like he's doing pretty Timon, well. Vaganyan, Yasser, tough candidates. Yeah, if you go back in <laughs> time 30 years. <laughs> yeah, from Bopiring's head. That's funny. All right, so this game's still interesting, irrespective of the engine evaluation. Yeah. Now Fabi has more time. Yeah, this is this is, this is a clearly better, you know, big big advantage for white now. White's dying.